Hello, everyone. I cut in a little early because I um because I messed up. Well, that's okay. Because Ian Gibson is here. Hi, how's it going, folks? Ooh, you're a little loud. Um, Zach in the chat said you misspelled Warzone. No, we didn't. We're playing Super Mario Maker. We're playing some Warzone tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. But I don't know if this uh, Zach attack will be included after that comment. Um, folks, we are doing a charity stream tonight. We are raising money for I, as soon as it escapes my brain, as soon as I think of what the name is. What's the name, Ian? Charity is called I Need Diverse Games. I Need uh, it's Diverse Games. A small charity that uh, their mission is to empower diverse voices in video gaming. Um, they encourage projects, they support developers, they get them passes to GDC and other conventions. Because I don't know if you were aware of this, but GDC is very expensive, uh, especially if your company or business is not supporting you. So this, uh, this I Need Diverse Games charity basically finds those uh, minority game developers and gives them the leg up they need to get their voices heard in the industry. Awesome. Yes, so we are doing charity stream for that. Um, if you live in this world, you understand that this week has a bit has been a bit tumultuous. And as uh, two guys who have really no involvement, uh, I think we just wanted to do something because uh, you, you should be doing something because all people should be treated the way you should treat yourself is the words yep. I'm going with. Um, I, I'm, I was thinking about this before stream and I was like, oh, should I say something? But I uh, am terrible with words. Um, so uh, that's the most profound I will ever get. But uh, yeah, people, uh, some people suck and like to hate on other people and you shouldn't be those people. Anyways, we're going to play some Super Mario Maker. Um, we've got the little donation link above me. You can click that and you can donate. Uh, we have a goal of $100 today um, because we're realistic and we know nobody watches yep. us. Um, oh, I just like jabbed my tooth into my other tooth. I really hurt. Um, sorry, it like really hurt. <laughs> um, so our levels will go over on the side. If you donate $10, uh, just make sure you put the name you use on whatever platform you're watching us on so we know to put your level at the top. Uh, we've got some every donation stuff. Oh, wrong side. Right over there. Um, so every donation, I will eat one of these bamboozled jelly beans that are like six years old, um, which will probably get me sick. Uh, and then, well, I'll probably also do 10 push-ups, or Ian will do 10 push-ups. Um... All sorts of stuff. And then uh, we have goals at $100. If we hit that, I will play the rest of the stream with one Joy-Con, which is a nightmare. I've tested it out. Um, and then $200, I will shave my beard completely. Mm -hmm. And then $300, Ian will shave his head completely. Yep, that's right. Which is I'll do terrifying. it. <laughs> I don't want to. I'll do it. I don't want to see Paul. I'll do it on either. stream. To be clear, these are going to happen on stream tonight. Yes, yes. I will get my razor and a towel, or a, not razor, whatever, <laughs> buzzer. Um, yes, so let's get started. Uh, I want to play, I'm going to play with a pro controller for now, because pro controllers are life. Um, is everything set? I, gotta, I just got to turn on the, the desktop volume so you guys can hear the game. Uh, and then I think that's it. I always forget something. I do have the timer, so I didn't forget that. I'm going to chuck the timer right over here. Oh. I'm going to minimize this. What was the O? Oh, is that a bad thing? We're just, um, I just need to, uh, I'm just going to change uh, in the donations. The way I have it set up is when you donate, you put money towards a thing happening, but we're not doing that. Any money put in goes towards the targets. Yes. So don't worry, folks. I'm going to fix that. Ian is fixing it. Um, I'm going to type in this first level. 
Um, as far as Switch uh, games, uh, I think we talked about this a little bit last night, but that 51 games came out, and it has so far been a blast. Uh, Karen and I played a bunch of... Uh, gosh, what was the name of it? Clubhouse 51 games? Oh, Takoyaki. Takoyaki. That game... What's that? It's... Um, so do you know what Takoyaki is? It's like the little street no. food that you... Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. No. Takoyaki is a Japanese street food that they cook the little circles. You might have seen it. They flip them with a chopstick. So they, uh, they cook on both sides. Uh, they're like... They, you cook ten at a time. And so Takoyaki, the card game is you have 10 cards face down and you draw and say I draw an ace that goes where the one goes and I put the ace down and I flip the card that was there and if that is a three then I go to the three place that and flip the card there and you stop doing that when you hit a card you already have or a face up card so you're trying to get one through 10 cards uh, I'm not mm -hmm. doing a great job explaining it but basically you're cooking your takoyaki. You're putting them face down and then flipping them to be cooked. And the game has oh. like a little—it has like a little frying sound when you play. Very good. I mean, that could be exciting. Maybe. It's very fun. Uh, I and then oh, I forget the other one we played. It was some uh, popular game in Europe where you roll dice. It's it's almost like sorry, and you go around a board, but you have to roll the exact. Oh, I died. You have to roll the exact dice, and you have to... Oh, Parcheesi. Yeah, it's like Parcheesi. Um, you have to roll the exact dice and get your guy all the way around, and then you can knock each other out. Very fun. Maybe that is Parcheesi. Yeah, that's pretty much Parcheesi. And then we played a bunch of yacht dice, which totally isn't Yahtzee. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how. Do you uh, do you start the timer? No, because we only had one level. So, folks, if you're in the chat, we are taking level submissions. All you got to do is put your level code in the chat, and we'll add it to the top of the list. I don't know how to jump after this. Unless there's a way. Oh. Instead of mashing, I'm actually going to try hitting buttons. Oh, that's not the right one. William. What? I don't know if it popped or not. It definitely updated at the top. We have a donation. <gasps> $2 donation? It didn't pop. I didn't get yep. a Streamlabs. Uh, let me... I'm going to test the Streamlabs real quick. But it definitely updated at the top, which is good. And I have my dashboard open. Sorry, folks. We're trying a new platform. It looks to be a little bit easier than what we used for extra life but uh growing things yeah did we use the can we use this one for extra life when we do it oh it just popped for me john donated 83 that's 83 dollars that's a fake donation that's a fake do it's working fake through Streamlabs. i'm not sure maybe because it was an anonymous donation but either way thank you so much for the two dollar donation yes thank you um you know while you're playing i'm gonna do my 10 push-ups real quick Okay. Oh, You're I gotta eat a bean, don't I? I don't know how to get past this part. Oh no, we didn't need to see this. <laughs> okay, while Ian's doing that, I'm gonna open these bean boozled. Um, yeah, let's pause the game. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Bean boozled. Oh, that hurt. Bean oh, boozled. Folks, I'm real out of shape. Okay. I opened the bean boozled. I put this knife. Oh, I literally went up to the system menu. I didn't mean to do that. Woo. Okay. Now, I'm going to Do I have to do 10 push-ups too? No, no, that's it's ten push-ups for me. It's one bean for Will, because I don't have beans. Okay, I have well, pulled out this one. Now I should try to guess what it is before I check, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, before you look at the list. This red one. Hi, right, folks. We are taking donations, and we're also taking levels. You don't have to donate to get ours to play your level. Just put your level code in the chat, and we'll add it to the list. The list is actually empty right now. So if you, add it, if you send us your level code, we'll play it right away. What's it taste like, Will? I, I, I didn't even have a guess. Um, I, I, it, I think it's canned dog food. Canned dog food. Ugh. But it might have been chocolate pudding. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it kind of tastes like the Dino Bite cereal, so which is chocolate. So I don't actually know. This level's a nightmare. What what am I doing wrong? There's got to be a way to like jump out of this pipe that I don't know how, what to do. Um, is that bag of bad beans? Is that the kind where they're paired up, like one, like there's a good one and a bad one, and they're very similar to each other? Yeah. So there's tooth be. Two, yeah, there's they they're the same color, but one's good. Oh, one's okay, bad. gotcha. Um, Zach, I too wish we could trade off on beans pushups because I've only done ten and I'm exhausted already. Yeah, and I'm so. really fat. I'm I've <laughs> I've gained like fifteen pounds since this started be, just because I'm uh, walking every day. That's a good topic though. We talked about um, possibly doing some sort of stream community weight loss incentive um i used lose it for a little bit but i think the problem is i need to exercise more and no offense but it sounds like you want to focus on your eating no, and no, so no. i want to exercise more because before i was eating and exercising quote unquote exercising at the same level so i wasn't gaining weight but i want to exercise yeah, more where's... Because at this point, like my diet, oh, okay. I'm I've like cut out sugar and I don't like drink soda or anything. Mm -hmm. The only thing is bread. So cut out carbs. yeah, so I'm not saying we should do it, but I think if we did do it, we would have to find something that is focused on daily fitness goals. Yeah, and has a community aspect so that we can actually hold each other accountable. Because the problem was I used to lose it a little bit off your suggestion, but it's it seems like it's entirely focused on food, and I don't really need that. Yeah. All right, you want a new level? Yeah, give me something else. Here you go. Astro Train Heist. Hi, I'm Astro Train Heist. Good to meet you, Astro. F. So right before the stream, I actually bought and downloaded the uh, Clubhouse 51 games. Is that what it's called? Clubhouse 51 games? Clubhouse game, Clubhouse 51 games. Clubhouse games, Clubhouse games, 51 worldwide classic. Got it. Got it. Oh, man. I, I really yeah, I'm want excited to play, to right play it. It's very good. I beat all it's, levels um, of dots and crosses. Or dots and cross? Boxes and crosses. It's boxes and crosses. You, It's that one where you take turns making lines, and then if you finish a box, you color it in. Oh, then you... Wow, I'm surprised that's in there. <laughs> it's... Surprisingly fun too. Yeah, this sounds perfect for my upcoming road trip. Because like when I'm not driving, I think I still want to listen to podcasts because we'll have some podcasts going. But I don't want to just sit there listening. So I think it's gonna be perfect to listen to the podcast and play these games. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Oh no. It's very good. Oh. I'm having. A, I like really wish I had a flight or something. Although not really because I don't want to die, but. Um, yeah, the, um, New Jersey is opening up the 15th. Is what kind of, what kind of open up? Stage two opening, which I believe. What? What did you just say? You guys are going to stage two already, but you guys are like so much worse than us. You're probably uh, still worse than us. But right? I think, I we'll think each state's different. Oh, stage declarations. I mean, they, they do have arbitrary... I but think like the stage stages two, are roughly the same. Yeah, what's your they? stage two? I believe it was... Uh, like, restaurants can... All restaurants can now be, like, pickup... Uh, or, no, sorry, not restaurants. All stores can now be curbside pickup. And then mm -hmm. non-essential workers...
can go to the office if necess like if necessary to go to an office. Oh, okay, yeah. See, that's more like our stage one, because our stage one was curbside pickup for non-essential retail and uh, removal of the stay-at-home order. I, I'm pretty um, sure we still have a stay-at-home order, but I don't actually know. Yeah. Our, so our stage two, which we hit, actually we hit our stage two 15 minutes ago, is uh, stage two for Maryland, by the way, is uh, retail stores can now open up, but I believe it's 50% capacity, like non-essential retail stores. And they still have to, you still have to wear a mask. They still have to provide like sanitized carts and stuff. Um, restaurants are allowed to do outdoor seating now gotcha. um, with, with proper spacing and sanitation. And I did see people, I was driving around today and I saw people doing outside seating. Um, they um they closed so there's a, a civilian civilian public plaza they so they basically just painted roads in downtown Jersey City, um, which the mm -hmm. funny story in that is they didn't tell the businesses they were gonna do that. So literally, Barcade oh. was like, "How how do we get our deliveries now?" Like you yeah, <laughs> and but anyways, it's it's all good now, but uh, they're expanding. I think they're expanding one of the roads up more uh temporarily for outdoor seating for all the restaurants oh okay yeah that's nice there seattle did something similar where they they didn't really have a lot of park space so they just closed like 26 miles worth of roads in the city to like create more space for people to be outside but not next to each other and i think they're actually keeping most of those roads closed permanently as oh, new wow. like bike lanes and outdoor spaces Um, but yeah, it's, I actually had to go to the office today because I had to pick some stuff up and it was, uh, it was a little scary. And the reason why is I think I mentioned this last night, somebody in our office, not in my company, but in our five story office building tested positive six days ago for COVID. So, and they had been going so to there the was, office. They had been going to the office. They were in the office as recently as May 29th. Oh, geez. So Basically, they had to sanitize the whole building and they have hand sanitizers out. They put they actually put out there's companies making a killing right now. So all, you know about those like antimicrobial surfaces where like yeah. it's a type of surface that doesn't let bacteria live on it. Mm -hmm. So they they had those all over the building, like where you pull open the door, had sticker sticker versions of that, of that surface, the elevators, all the buttons had clear cover is, caps it, on it like is that. Is it blue? No, it's just clear. Okay, because the office building... It's either building, clear or just white. My office building, we had to clear out. I had to go into New York City mm -hmm. and clear it out because our WeWork thing was up. And uh, they yeah. had what I thought was like blue plastic wrap on like all the elevator handles and all the buttons and everything. Yeah, it's probably the same thing. But I hadn't heard about it. And now thinking back... Um, yeah. That makes sense. Anyways, continue with your terrifying order. Um... But yeah, so then I went in the office and it was kind of weird because there's construction going on in the office, but nobody was there, but the door was just open. So oh. so I just walk into the office and have to scan a badge or do security alarm or anything. And then it's just dead empty. But the, there were two weird things. Number one, it wasn't that weird that it was empty because, you know, sometimes when I get there in the morning, even at like 8, 830, there's nobody there mm -hmm. or there's two people there. So it was like just as quiet as it usually is, basically. And the other thing was like, it didn't feel that weird being back in the office. Like I immediately was just like, yep, I'm in the office. <laughs> Even though I haven't been there in three months. Yeah. So maybe maybe people will get back to normal more quickly than they think, but there's still gonna be the behavior in terms of like, don't stand next to me. You know, that's, that's gonna take a while. I hate um, not being in an office. Like at first I was like, oh, this is great. Like I can kind of relax because I'm at my yeah. home. But. I think it depends. For me, it depends on my job because there's some downtime in my job. And especially like with my lunch hour, I like being able to use that full hour or be able to do other stuff if I need to during that downtime. Whereas if I'm in the office and there's a little bit of downtime, it's like, well, I guess I'll reorganize my documents again or something. You know, there's yeah. not a whole lot to do with that downtime. My, my other issue is uh, my boss, who's he's very like, uh, what's the word? 
Uh, mm, like, don't be uh, racist. No, this is a charity stream. <laughs> no, no, I, I meant like he's very uh, hands-on. Like he, so he knows you're working. So working yeah. from home, I, we had an issue where like putting a whole video thing together, and then I I gave it to my coworker George to like put a music bed on it. And so he put a music bed on it, posted it in our Slacker. My boss was like, hey, so can you just send me what you did today? And I'm like, oh, no, I, I made the video. He's like, yeah, but George sent it. And I was like, <sighs> he's also, he's not someone, he has no, he's a hedge fund guy. He has no production background, and we're like a small production team now. Yeah. So he like, he had no idea, like, that's how stuff worked. And he was like, wow. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I, like... But George sent it. Like, we were doing a, a video, and uh, he was like, oh, yeah, only one of you probably needs to work on that. And uh, I was like, no, we, like, all need to be on this. It's very complicated. Yeah. But uh, it, it's gotten a lot better. But after that happened, there was a day that uh, my two coworkers uh, sent me everything to post in the Slack. <laughs> Just to show that My two coworkers. <laughs> doing work. How's yeah. Slack, by the way? I haven't used Slack. It's It's basically discord i like that i'm I, we switched over to project teams a couple months ago and i'm not it's got some good functionality but i'm not crazy about it yeah the other problem is like it's like your slack is like it's slack, like it'd be if you open up discord and it could only be sub pixel stuff like you, i like i can't if i were to join oh, a different yeah. slack i think it takes over um but i will say the nice thing about slack is 500 no, five gigabytes of storage. And oh, you that can, is nice. You can upload files as big as you want to, like, send. Um, Folks, we are I taking level submissions. Uh, just put your level code in the chat, and we'll play it right away, actually. Our, our queue is empty right now. Yeah. Please. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Please send us levels. Even if they're not yours. Don't forget to Sorry, I had, a, I had a cat problem. Cat got up on the desk and then just kept rubbing on that microphone. Nah, uh -uh, kitty. I really want Ian to. Nah. Uh -uh. But I'd like you to skip, oh. if if possible, if we could skip the two hundred and go straight to the three hundred. I just wanna. I feel like there's a couple things I need to ring you out on chat for. One of them I think we'll wait until the relevant chat. Oh, that the relevant one, stream. I, I feel like you didn't understand. But it's okay. But what's the other thing you need to read me out for? No, let's read me out. Okay, so so the situation is we're trying to play some Supreme Commander. Will's never played it before. So you got the game, you installed it, you played the tutorial, and then you said, oh, you know what? I'll pull it up. We got time. I'll pull it up. Hi, old Mario. I'll add your level code what's up, to the Mario? list right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please. No. Please. Oh. Um, and then I'll pull up the, uh... We are also taking donations. You don't have to donate for us to play your level, but it's greatly appreciated. Uh, we're donating to our I Need Diverse Games. I Need Diverse Games, it's basically a charity that supports uh, diversity in game development by finding and sponsoring unique projects by minorities and uh, giving them money to go to conventions like the Game Developers Conference or GDC, which is very expensive. Um, but they make it easy for those uh, less advantageous people to participate in the industry. Um, okay, so I'm gonna pull this up. Okay, so William Yosef It's Crispers said, Sorry, I have to. Okay, here it goes. William says, also, the Supreme Commander tutorial sucks. And I said, I think you're meant to play the single player campaign is the tutorial, which also sucks. And then Will said, then why have something labeled tutorial? Dumb game. And I said, I'm going to rip you a new asshole on stream for that comment. Okay, I want to know and why. And this is the stream. I want to know why you're ripping me. Because then I can defend myself. Because I think I know why. And I said why. But I don't think you do. I'm, I'm upset because 
We literally had a conversation today about how you can't stop buying crappy 99 cent games and playing them because you have such a low bar of taste in games. I and I give you the of gift taste. of the greatest, one of the greatest real time strategy games ever made. And you play the tutorial and you go, this is a dumb game. How many dumb games have you played <laughs> way longer than you should have? Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That's, That's pretty thought. good. No, so that's Fuck not... Up. So I was saying why I have a menu, because I was doing it in your voice when you were always like, why do they even have that there if it's not going to use it? First off. Second of all, Dumb Game was joking because the tutorial, like, you were right, like, obviously. Even though it's stupid, the tutorial they have on their main page is just like, it loads you into a game and it just has, like, the encyclopedia thing pop up and be like, here's the description of everything in the game. Yeah, and it's, it's, I'm not saying the tutorial is not dumb. It's just that's the bar you're gonna you're gonna suddenly. No, no, I was I was completely joking use when playing old games. I know, but I just I thought it was funny. Hi, creep, uh, creep. Up, we creep? want levels. Give us your level codes. You no, made any levels recently? Um, um, let me back out. And I can what's the other thing? Level. I feel like there's another thing I need to I gotta. Also, I for. will say the games I buy that are bad and cheap. I know they're bad and cheap. And yet you play them anyways. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I, I don't play through them. I spend an adequate amount of time. We got a brand new level from Alt Mario. Don't Just forget wait. the timer on this one. No, I, I purposely didn't do it on the other one. I know, but I'm just saying, don't forget to re-enable it. I feel like I had another bone to pick with you, but I don't remember what it was. I don't know. <gasps> it's Kyle Harris. Hi, Kyle. Who's Hi. Want to do math? <laughs> what? What's happening? All right. So when I used to work at ZeniMax online, <laughs> I don't remember how it started, but we started, we made up a fake Saturday morning scientist character, like a Saturday morning TV scientist. Mm -hmm. and he's like, hey, kids, want to do math? <laughs> and it just became the sketch phrase. Mine was, hey, want to do math? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. The stupidest um, thing I've ever heard. And our, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna give you the donate link. If you would like to donate, uh, that's the link you can do it at. We're uh, giving donations to I Need Diverse Games, which is about supporting diverse diversity in game development. Um, and if you want to, you want us to play your Super Mario Maker 2 level, just, uh, throw, throw a code up, throw a code up in their chat. We'll add it to the level, to the list. Boom. Hmm. This looks like fun. This is actually fun. Eat these balls. <laughs> oh, stop hitting me with your balls. <laughs> Kyle with the good point is, it sounds a lot like, want to do math? Hey, Wanna do math? Kids. Wanna hey, do kids. math? You want no teeth? <gasps> Hi, Jay Z. Jay Z's here? Will. GZ. Guess what uh, GZ stands for? Uh, generic zebra. Mm, no, I'll give you two more guesses. Uh, gen gentrified xenomorph. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a. That's uh, a I'll give you, give you a hint. It's one word. Um. Generation Z. It's Godzilla. <laughs> because because Jeezy's a big uh, Godzilla fan. Who's Jeezy? Wait, Jay-Z uh, likes friend, Godzilla? Why do you have Jay-Z does love Godzilla. <laughs> Jay-Z is life. <laughs> Jay-Z loves Godzilla. <laughs> What's my new character? Jay-Z loves Godzilla. Jay-Z Jay loves Godzilla. Jay-Z loves character. Godzilla. Hey, I was reading the New York Times the other day, and I found out Jay-Z loves Godzilla. Did you know in the New Yorker, they talk about Jay-Z loves Godzilla? Oh my god, I saw this cartoon in the New Yorker the other day, and it was the caption contest, and you know what caption I submitted? Jay-Z Jay loves, loves Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> That's G one of my favorite episodes. Zack Attack. Zack Attack says, GJ, it should it be GJ, because it's Gojira. <laughs> Gojira. Wow, Ian, I can't believe That's you actually pronounce Godzilla that way. 
that's a good like buddy cop duo is is gz and gj isn't godzilla per now this might be completely wrong so i'm actually not gonna say it uh you want me to look up the official no i was gonna say well, is isn't godzilla pronounced with the z's because gojira has like a z sound like in japanese like if you were to speak with an accent and i think I, i'm gonna look it up i might be wrong though. oh so apparently gojira in japanese is godzilla okay i i thought it was because I'm they go gojira and it the z sounds like a z gojira gojira uh Godzilla name. Did you beat it? No, I just gotta run over this. Don't mess up. Axe. This was a fun level. TBH Beyond. Did you make this ult Mario or did you just Oh no. It? Well we have two we have two more donations, by the way. Crap. 42. Thank you guys so much. Um We gotta do I gotta do 20 push-ups. Oh, and I gotta eat. You have to eat two nasty jelly beans. So you go ahead and eat the jelly beans. I'm going to change the camera and do my push up donation. Chris, thank you. Why aren't they popping on Streamlabs? I'm very upset. I, I don't know. It's not. Uh, let me relink it once I do my push ups. Yeah, you better. Hi, Karen. We've already raised $42. We're $168 away from me losing my beard. Uh, 268. So go break open the piggy bank. Get two hundred sixty-eight dollars. Uh, oh, I gotta eat two bad. You want one of the bad jelly beans? Some of them are good. Okay, Karen's gonna have one, folks. Oh, is this? Uh, it's back. You have that one. I'll have this one. Let's show oh. them to the camera. Oh, we might have two. Of, wow, that was. I might pulled these at both random. Be bad. No, uh, so if they look the same, they're one's good, one's bad. This so. one has a little. Oh. This doesn't smell good. Oh. Ugh. That's disgusting. Ugh. Did I get moldy cheese? Did you get caramel, caramel corn? I might have gotten moldy cheese. It sounded like, tastes like, it tastes like long clippings, to be honest. Like, it tastes like sweet rubber. It doesn't taste good, but it doesn't Was taste it strawberry bad. banana smoothie yeah. and I got dead fish? Wow. Yeah, shirt off or they don't count for Will eating jelly beans. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally I'm literally googling Twitch shirtless men policy. <laughs> that should have been it. $100 we take I'll our shirts it. off. I'll do it. You know what? Ian, I'm saying it now. $400 we take our shirts off. Yeah, that's true. The Google oh, no, is sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we, Twitch does not permit the visible outline of genitals, even when covered. My breasts aren't genitals. Oh, I'm trying to... I pulled up their policies What here. do you want to ask chat? <clears throat> oh, okay. Karen's got a story while I type in the next... Uh... Thing. She's gonna come in. All right, I'm gonna... I, I just got a work email that really annoyed me, so I'm I, I'm not really sure what to do. So, can a little bit on camera. All right. So, um, right now my company that I work for is currently making masks and um, like cloth masks and uh, some of the, some of the custom printed stuff that we're doing is for uh, like branded logo masks. So I had mentioned to my boss on Thursday, um, why don't we make masks for ourselves? Like, because we still have like, like 30 people working throughout the warehouse. Like we might as well, and they're, everyone's wearing random stuff. We might as well all have ones with our company logo on it. So he was like, yeah, like, you know, like that's not a bad idea. Like, well, you know, maybe. And then, so that was yesterday, or yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then just now I get an email but it's not the original email, it's a reply um, from my coworker who is 
She's also a graphic designer, but she does all the marketing and web stuff, so she's not really involved with, like, the printing stuff. Just does web, advertising, etc. So I get yeah. the email from her is a reply to my boss saying, um, like, yeah, it sounds good. Like, you know, I think Karen and I should work on this together. Let's do that Monday. So then I scroll down to see the original email, and he emailed her, emailed her hey, Hannah, um, we sh uh would you like to design a branded logo mask for us in your style? Everyone's been asking about it. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? I am the, the <laughs> designer that is running the entire print department. And I even asked about it yesterday. Yeah. And then you decide to go and send an email to my coworker that doesn't make designs. Like she's talented and stuff, but like, I don't wow. think he meant it in that way. I think he meant because she has a certain style guide that she's created, he's attributing that to her personally. But uh, I just got really offended that he didn't even copy me in the email. You know, like he just sent yeah. it to her and then like the other boss and like the person that's in charge of overseeing production. <laughs> so I just got super offended with that right now. Yeah, that's annoying. And I, I was gonna say I was gonna say something to him, but I'm just gonna wait until Monday and just kind of. Casually. Yeah, I would wait. That was Karen's uh, soapbox minute. Uh, we'll have another one in yeah. a couple hours. Um, I no, I, the only thing I was gonna say is this is the two people that at their um, at that first Christmas party they revealed the new logo for the company that they'd been working on for like a year, and I was like. Okay, like it wasn't that great of a new logo. Like I wouldn't tell people I spent yeah. a year on it. Yeah, it was better. No, it was hundred percent better than the old logo, but yeah, but yeah, it's it's not understanding the difference. Like a style that you've created for a company that all of your employees and all of your creative people are supposed to be aware of, and someone's personal style. Like that's two different things, and he didn't understand that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, I, I. A pixel merch. Yeah, yeah we should do some pixel merch. Ooh. Oh, oh crap. That's what? Zach. Zach says you should buy a Raspberry Pi to help you deal with this. Uh, Ian, I lost your video, by the way. Yeah, no, I, I had to do something on my phone. It oh, should okay. be back. Now. No, I'm there just making sure. I, I like had just looked. Oh, this looks like fun. Yeah, it's snaky. Uh, Karen, if you want, you you can join the disco Discord from the other room. I I only I had just dialed in this microphone for me, so I, I'm afraid it's not gonna pick us up, pick us up properly. Good, she's gone. Oh, thank God. Just kidding. It's gonna kill me. Oh, nice job there. I was like certain you were gonna die. I know. I'm always certain I'm gonna die. Um, so pick some merch. I think I'm gonna start buying <laughs> some like I don't want to call it bootleg, but I'm just gonna start buying some subpixel merch stuff from uh, AliExpress because it's just cheaper. Like you can get like a custom hat for like five bucks, stuff like that. Oh my gosh, you just um, reminded me. I beat a level and I didn't mm -hmm. do a, even do a thing. That's okay. Um, Timer? custom hats. So, we all know the story of you own a hat that you purchased to be funny and ironic, but events happened that has now made that hat not funny and ironic. I, I'm not sure we should talk about this on the charity stream, to be honest with you. Oh, uh, okay. I, uh, okay. Yeah. You know what? I'll say this. Anyways, I'm later. looking for new hats, and I found um, <laughs> AliExpress. You can basically get hats direct from China, like single hat orders with custom designs on them. Uh, so I think I'm going to do a subpixel hat. But um, the point being, we may have some merch in the future. We we could end up giving it out as donations and stuff. Because if it just buy five of them and give them out as donations or as, uh, you know, stream rewards, stuff like that, that's totally worth it. In terms of an actual store, no, we're definitely not there yet. We ain't got no fan oh, base, no, boys. Totally not. Folks in the chat, we are accepting level donations. Uh, I mean, level submissions. Level you send us the level code. Just put it in the chat, and we'll put it right at the top of the list. Yeah. 
xg. Cross the high mountains. Casual traditional. Enjoy the view while exploring. I will enjoy the Darren! Here. Darren! Um, as has been alluded in the chat, we are going to be playing Warzone tomorrow night. Are you excited? He's not tomorrow night. Attention. Yeah, I'm excited. Have you played any since we've been streaming it? It's part of our series called Royality, and basically we pick a battle royale game and we play it until we win on stream. So so far we've only done Apex Legends. Um, mm -hmm. And then Warzone came out, so we switched to that. We haven't been playing it since launch. We kind of fell off for a bit, but we've probably done five or six streams now. We've gotten close. I think the closest we've gotten was top four. I think we we're fifth a couple times. One. Okay, yeah. So we've gotten we've gotten really good. I don't want to say really good, but we've we've gotten good enough to win now. I think it's. I mentioned this in the last stream. I, I think it's kind of down to not making mistakes, not making stupid mistakes. Mistakes we know we shouldn't make. Luck. You know, like we had a really good match where we just got, we just got pinched at the end. The circle was moving. We watched all of our angles. We made the move. And then all of a sudden there was a squad behind us, a squad in front of us, a squad to the side of us. Basically all the squads were moving at once and we all just kind of came across each other in the open. Um, just stuff like that where you, the luck, luck doesn't, luck doesn't go your way. I came in, uh, I don't know if I told you this, uh, one of my drunk night streams, which are very fun and not streams, playing Warzone. I, I think I came in second or no third on a duos. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. It, I feel it like ended on a hill I, and I just like yeah. hit behind the wrong rock. Yeah. I don't, I don't mean to sound, I, I really don't mean this to like denigrate your success, but I feel like duos, duos has got to be a little bit easier than squads just because you're only working against two people coordinating with each other. Yeah. So they can it, only flank you in two ways easier. yeah because I, I like had to keep remembering oh i just killed this guy and i kept thinking oh there's three other guys coming for me but then i was like oh no there's only yeah. one other guy coming for me i don't yeah. have to worry that's that's the crazy thing about squads is that like like that one match i was just talking about things can very quickly go from assuming you got full squads it can go from an eight person fight to a 12 person fight, 16 person fight with just four squads involved real quick. And then it's yeah. chaos. Um, and that makes the game fun in a way. Like we've definitely had situations where we've done like two, three squad wipes in a row mm -hmm. because we just we're taking people out. More people show up, take them out. But um, it's uh, whew, tough. That was a good level. That was good. I'm going to beat it in 24 seconds. Um, uh, sorry, I was reading. What is next? Oh, <coughs> oh woo! Cough came out of nowhere. Man, I, I don't know what it was about... The stream being at five today, but I had the same feeling all day when I used to work at Whole Foods and like I had to go into work at one. Like I felt mm -hmm. like I didn't have time to do anything because I had to because I had to wait yeah. for the thing. You know what I mean? I get that. Yeah. All the, like I was yeah, like, oh, I don't want to get too involved in a game because then I have to stop. Yeah, I think it was there was a saying recently. I can't remember who said it. Uh, I mean, it's a popular saying, but I, I just wanted to reference the person who said it recently, but I can't remember it. But it's basically one of these things where it's like, you want to get up early in the morning because the morning, especially like before noon, is your time. It's before things have started going the way in a day where there's all this outside pressure on you. But then after noon, all of a sudden you have commitments to other people. Other people have come to you to ask for things. You have to take care of other people and the day has changed into like you, you doing things for other people in a way, if that makes sense. It wasn't as, not as concise as, as the guy said it, but basically it's like the morning is your time. And then at some point in every day it flips and all of a sudden it's all about 
preparing or doing other things. Things that you don't necessarily want to do. That's smart. And so it's one of those things where if, if you've got that 5 p.m. coming at you, it's going to be like... In the morning, it's not it's not breathing down your neck, but the closer you get to it, the more it's breathing down your neck. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. I stayed up late because that <laughs> game came out, the 51 games, and I was playing the freaking uh, dots and boxes, whatever, to like 1230 mm -hmm. or 1. And then, so wow. I, I was like, oh, I'll st I want to stay, like, I still want to wake up at 8, whatever. But, because usually I wake up when Karen gets up, but she got up and went and left and went to the kitchen. So I slept in till 9.30. And I, I like felt great for sleeping in, but I was like, oh, damn. I took a shower and everything. It was like 10 and I'm like, ugh. Now I'm like. There goes the day. Yeah, yeah I know that, that feeling. That exact feeling. Um, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy that everyone gets that. Oh, oh that was a good burp. Oh, no. So I'm curious how you feel. Last night was the final episode of Subpixel Inc. Season 2. We did Roller Coaster Tycoon to multiplayer. There were four of us in there. We were building a park, unlimited money, as big a map as you can make it. And uh, we got up to, what, 4,500 guests, which oh. was great. Gargolin Th is now following us. Thanks Thank for you. the follow. Um, how, how do you feel like that win? I thought overall... I, I, I feel like with every series idea we have, there's like this crazy expectation for expectation for it. And then there's the reality. And I feel like we hit the reality was great, even though it didn't meet the expectation. Yeah, I, I agree. That makes sense. Um, I think it was really fun uh, having all four of us on something for more than one stream. And yeah, also... and that helped it go. We we were doing two hour streams regularly for that series because we were just all hanging out chatting and it was great. Yeah, it was very fun. I, plus that game, it helps that that game's just really good. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm mm. excited for uh, what happens next with the Subpixel Yeah, let's, uh, you know, brand. let's brainstorm some ideas. So Subpixel Inc. is our series, if you're not aware of it, where it started with us, um, we had no money. It's, we started it when Subpixel started about two years ago. No, not two years ago, a year and a half ago. Where we had no money, so we decided to build, design, test, and manufacture the world's first car for gamers. So we played Automation the Car Company game, BeamNG, uh, Kerbal Space Program, Factorio, and we went through that whole timeline of building the world's first car for gamers. We became trillionaires, of course. It was a very successful vehicle. So uh, season two, which we did recently, was we decided to give back by opening the world's biggest, largest, freest theme park called Subpixel Land, which was uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. But that was just a giant failure because we may have murdered over a thousand guests um, and Murdered's just wasted right all of our money. Murdered is the right word. Uh, heads up, folks, if you have a level you think we should play on this stream... Just throw that level code in that you made, a level somebody else made, whatever. Just throw the code in the chat and we'll play it. Um, so I think for season three, we need to get our money back. And I think the only way to get our money back is to steal it. So yes. how do we I steal concur. money? How do we steal money? So um, I said, I, I know you hate this idea. And I, I think it's completely your fault that you hate this idea doing all of the heist in GTA Online. I don't hate it. I hate it less than when I did when you first suggested it, only because mm -hmm. I feel like I've done them so many times. And I also yeah. think... I think we had me... I don't, were you part of that stream? We had just done the latest one. I don't think you were. I think it was just me and my two brothers. We had just done that, that last one they had released. Um, Wait, the very latest one? The Doomsday one? Not the very one? latest. Uh, yes, the Doomsday one. Oh, okay. Is there not one since then? Oh, no, I think there is one since then. Yeah, it was the Doomsday. There was one that came out recently. Oh, yeah. Um, Difficult. Oh, God. I think part of it is the team. The problem is you and I are Xbox, PS4, PC. I would prefer to play on PC because it's mm -hmm. free and it's better. Although it's harder to stream, honestly. 
Maybe we should yes. play on Xbox. But then I don't the problem. My well, stuff. the problem is Jake does not have an Xbox, and Kyle does not have a PS4, so we can't even pick a console to play it on. Because I, I, I think it, I think it should be f the four subpixel people. Yeah, which really limits us. Yes. So then the question became, okay, what if we play something else, maybe like Payday 2, which is another bank heist game? No, we should we should compile a list during the stream of games in which you take money from A to, to your sick. I was just going to look up the Heat video game. <laughs> Perfect. Um, heat. Or uh, almost... You know what? I I hate to just dash the idea away, but it could even be a game where we make money. Like we have to work to make money. Um, Wait, did the did the heat the heat game never come out? Didn't. Heat was a Gearbox software first announced in two thousand six. But in 2009, the licenses expired. That's a little weird. They announced the game in 2006, but three years later, their licenses expired. That's a little. That's a little. It's money laundering to announce a did game. Did we just you discover even... a monitor, money laundering scheme? I think we did. Whoops. There's also a taxi driver of the game. I was the thing that made me think of the what I said was. Uh, well, I guess Mercenaries 2 was multiplayer, but Mercenaries 2 <gasps> is a terribly Ooh. good game. Mercenaries 2 is? I thought 1 was the better one. Oh, 1 is one is way better. 2 is a sack of crap. Oh, no. No! And then why did you say Mercenaries 2 is a good game? I said a... What did I say? I can't even remember. I, I thought well, I said... Mercenaries 2 online features have been disabled. Oh, dang. As of 2010, at least for the PC. I don't actually remember what I said, but I'm pretty sure I said was a Mercenaries 2 was a game. It has so many glitches at launch. My uh, my friend and I played it, and he we had just finished a mission, and we happened to be in the water, and so it spawned us back at the headquarters because it like pulled you out of the mission and he exploded mm -hmm. in a fury of water uh all over the oh. room we always call wow. it like neptune has arrived uh, neptune has arrived i i've had a um, urge to replay mercenaries one uh, i have too because like, i only played the demo i never actually played it oh the game is very good. there's a bridge that if you drive the like hot rod at it just immediately bounces lies into the air i'm gonna look up how to play that game because maybe we play that at something link you uh, but it's not multiplayer is the problem it's not but we could try to pass it oh you know what you can play it on the one x yeah, it is uh, backwards compatible, and it's enhanced, I believe. Shoot! Man, it's not yeah, bad. it's it's 4K res. It's the same original textures, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, in terms of like, it's not jagged at all. It's got it was just so cool because it had like the card system, of, like checking people yeah. off and then launching it. And oh, the best part was you would order stuff from the mafia. And they would drop it off by a helicopter, and then you just steal the helicopter from the guy, and they'd be like, we will yeah. remember this. So, Gargolin, we are talking about games that we can play in which we steal or take money from people. Preferably sure. multiplayer. Uh, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Kane and Lynch. I'll be back. <gasps> no. Army of Two. It's a terrible co-op. I mean, it's, it's probably only terrible because it's aged. My friend and I tried to play Army of Two, and we said no immediately. Be right back. Don't forget me. Kane and Lynch Dead Men is a 2007 third-person shooter game developed by IO Interactive and published by Eidos Interactive in North America and PAL regions. Uh, Windows, PS3, and Xbox 360. Also has a mobile phone version. Uh, okay. 
Convicted of manslaughter. We could totally play Kane and Lynch. Kane and Lynch. Xbox One. Oh, it does run on Xbox One. I remember playing the demo for this game. Not being crazy about it. Oh, it definitely looks rough. Oh, no, I see him shooting civilians. This looks rough. Well, it's, it's not terrible. Kane and Lynch. Let's see if it has online co-op. It does. Oh, man. Gargolin, is it worth it playing the uh, Army of Two games? How many Army of Two games are there? There's three of them? Man, I don't remember that. Ooh. Excuse me. Wow. 2008, Michael Mann was hired to write a script and direct an Army of Two movie. Oh, that would be. Ooh. I'm back. Oh, so I'm looking at Kane and Lynch. I'm looking at Army of Two. I have Army of Two on Xbox, though. It doesn't support online co-op. Army of Two? Yeah. I mean, that split no, screen. Look, did I play that split? Army of Two does not support online co-op, only local co-op. Huh. Maybe it was local. Um got Kane and Lynch. Oops. That's not what I do. First two are good for the time. That's that's good. You need a new level? Didn't I give you a new level? Yeah, you did. I, I just hit the wrong button. Folks, we are taking levels. Uh, any level code you'd like to, to play, just throw it in the chat. We're also taking donations. We're raising money for I Need Diverse Games. Um, it's a charity that uh, raises money to support minority voices in uh, video game development. Um, they like to use that money to promote projects, uh, sponsor developers, uh, get uh, minority developers to GDC, which is a very expensive but very important uh, developer conference for the industry. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of good stuff, so we're raising money for them today. Um, all you got to do is donate to this here link. We have some incentives with that. Every time we get a donation, I do 10 push-ups. Will eats a rotten, nasty, tasty jelly bean. If we get to $100, Will's going to play for the rest of the stream with one Joy-Con. If we get to $200... Will's going to shave his beard. If we get to $300, I'm going to shave my head. And I don't know if you can tell, but I got like six inches of hair, hair here. It's all going to go. So we got a long ways to go, but we've raised 40. We're on the way. We're on the way. But no matter what, you don't have you don't have to donate for us to play your level. You don't even have to submit a level for you, for you to enjoy the stream. We're just having a good time. We're hanging out here. Oh, Let's shoot. see. Same time. Best. Ooh, what if... I Dillinger game. We can play Evil Genius. <clears throat> Evil Genius. The RTS where you play like a uh, 60s Bond villain. Come here. I What I really love about Subpixel Link Season 1 is that we went across multiple games, and I think we should strive for that. I was thinking that too. Yeah, it's difficult, but I think it's doable. So we need a concept that we can take across multiple games. Maybe it's just, maybe we should just uh, put it to illegal things. We should do illegal things to get money. 
Yeah, like each stream we play like a game we where we could play do like a couple of streams. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying this is the game, but like we could do like Thief Simulator or like Drug Dealer Simulator. We could do like Underground Racing. Yeah. It's 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 less of a carry, more of a theme, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. Folks in the chat, I want to hear about your favorite video games in which you do illegal things for money. Not for good, not to save people, but for yeah. money. You know what? Yeah. What's your favorite illegal <laughs> activity for money? Yeah. Thanks, Nanate. The Yo, Sims. Thanks. The Sims. <laughs> that is pretty illegal when you think about it. You're basically controlling this person's life. Is that like Kenshi, but nicer? I'm going to look at a video. Yeah. Watch that Kenshi. video I sent you. I don't read any of your messages. I was actually watching some wow, hot reviews is... today. These graphics are a lot better than I thought they would be. Oh, that's so good. Uh, it's Kenshi, which is this uh, game that Will won't stop talking about, even though he... Oh, wow, this does look weird. Really good. Oh, dang it. You I goofed it. it. I goofed it. Goof. You goobered. Goof for Sutherland. What if we raise a child? <laughs> Are you talking about in game or just in general? We can't wait a minute. A wait child. a minute. What if. What if. William. What if. The goal. What if the problem with our money problems is that we're working too hard and we should really just make an army of people to do the work for us? Are you saying we play Kenji? No, I, I'm thinking of like, you know, Abby Russell's doing that. Uh, 100 babies. What's it, 100 yeah. babies? We're just trying to have 100 babies. I think we do something similar to that where it's all about raising as many like fake people as possible. You know what I mean? So it's in, a lot of like pe in the Sims, sense. though. Well, I don't know. I, I think it go, could go across. I'm just thinking like there are games about trying to date people. There are games about trying to pass high school. There are games like Octodad about being a dad. So what if we did like a life simulator where we're doing different stages of life from birth to death through different games? I don't know what the overall goal is. I don't know what the angle is for Subpixel Inc. That's what we got to think. We got to think if we're trying corporate to... strategy. Yeah, what if we're just trying to... What if we're moving into biogenetics and we're trying to create the Ubermensch? Now a new level. No. <clears throat> yeah. That's an idea. I just... I think that's at least a through line. But it needs some work. I want to play Kerbal or... <gasps> stream mom Zach that's brilliant stream mom is our dedicated fan we need more fans so instead of getting new people we just get more stream moms literally we just create stream mom in a whole bunch of different games <laughs> so this is like monster factory but stream mom factory yeah but like it's all like life games like we play the sims with a house full of stream moms. And then we play... I think it has to be us and stream mom. In a house. Yeah. Well, what if wait, we just wait, do... Wait, 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 wait. Shut your mouth. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm with the cloning stream mom motif. But the first okay. couple episodes, we gotta learn about stream mom. So the four of us need to live with stream mom in order to gather data for our cloning technique. Okay, that's not bad, but this is going away from Stream Mom. What if Subpixel Link Season 3 is our poverty season? And it's all about <laughs> being poor. I think all seasons have been our poverty season. <laughs> <laughs> but like if we did a, like a Sims... There's not like a legit simulator. Yeah, like if we did a legit Sims run where there's no cheats, we're not giving ourselves like special circumstances to start with. It's just... 
the four of us, four, and we're in a house. And we gotta, like, it's like a bootstrap season. We gotta pick ourselves up by our bootstraps. I don't know. I think we're, get, we're, coming, up, we're coming up with great ideas here. Yeah, we're brainstorming. See, I like I like the cloning stream on my idea, but I want to play like several games. The idea is, you remember the clone army in um, the Clone Wars episode? Is it episode two? Clone the Clone Wars? What's that called? Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones. Remember how they have to like the clones don't just come out perfectly formed. They have to train them for like nine years via accelerated growth and whatever. Yeah. I want to do a series of games like that where we are training our army of stream mobs to be the perfect fans. So it's a lot of games where like like we could do an we could do a couple episodes of XCOM 2 where it's just stream mobs in the squad. You see what I mean? So we like we we figure out the skill set they need and we bounce around between games creating custom stream mob characters to give them that skill set. Oh, so we're just making the ultimate stream mob. Well, it's it's not a single stream mom, although some games may require one stream mom instead of multiples. But the idea is we are tra we are training, we are growing and raising and training our army of dedicated stream mom fans. So like with XCOM, it would be like the great thing about a fan is they know how to fight off the haters. So to teach them how to fight, we're going to play XCOM 2. Yeah, but what if instead of XCOM 2, we played Mario vs. Rabbit? A good game. It's a better game. <laughs> it's a better game. You started playing that yet? No. Oh, it's so good. That game's incredible. How are you feeling about this stream on my idea? Um, I don't know. I'm like 60-40 on it. I like the stealing money, to be honest. But the problem is that I don't think that's going to be ex I don't think there's enough games. And the problem is you can't really do like if we do Army of Two, I don't know if it's exciting for us to just play one episode of Army of Two and go, hey, we stole money, you know? No, I I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it's the Army of Two thing. I can't believe I beat this. Oh, I almost got the world record. Uh, was this a new level? FNC. Yeah. I'm really bummed um, that the Streamlabs thing isn't working. I think I think it's working now. I think what happened was I you have to go in and link the accounts but then pick the donation campaign and I picked it yesterday. I think it reset overnight, so I had to repick it. I think it's working now. Gotcha. Um I'm trying to think If anybody in the chat wants to test it out, all you gotta do is donate to that link. Even True. just a dollar helps. If only if only you did it. Okay, I'm gonna hit a collection of ten puzzle mini games. Can you beat them all to win? Play. Yeah. So, so, so here's what I'm thinking. So, like, I'm just walking through some ideas here. So, like, episode one, two, or three would be that first group of episodes would be us. We load into The Sims Four. Sims is up to four, right? Yeah, Sims Four. Mm -hmm. We load into Sims Four, and it's the four subpixel boys in a house with. I don't know, two dozen babies. And we have to keep them alive until they become teenagers. William Yosef Fitz Crosby, when they're teenagers, we take them to backyard sports. Maybe it's baseball, maybe it's backyard hockey. And we put them all in a team and we teach them teamwork and take them through the championship. Okay. And then when they're adults, What's the adult game? XCOM. I'm really worried. I keep wanting to put this pen in my mouth, but I think it's one of Maggie's COVID pens. <laughs> well, you've already done the damage um, by putting it <laughs> on your lips. I know. Lips. I'm just going to do it. There you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, she like, I'll like, I'll grab a pen and I'll start walking around with that. I'll be like, yo, don't touch that pen. I'm like, why? And she goes, that came home from the hospital. I'm like, this is your COVID pen? Because <laughs> she literally will take pens like this. I know, she'll take it to the hospital while she's working the COVID ward. And then she'll come home and like, you know, all her clothes are off, shower, nice, clean decontamination. And then it turns out she's got COVID pens laying around. Um, 
I'm liking this idea so far. So it's like Sims, and then it goes into Backyard Baseball when they're kids or teens. And then it goes to... We're going to do XCOM at some point, like a squad of them, an XCOM 2. What other games can we play where you have a variety? Mm. Tension. Oh. No, yeah, but what wanna, skill do they learn? Play that one. I have some survival. <laughs> survival. Um. Let's get some suggestions from the cat game from the chat games in which you create a custom <laughs> set of characters. <laughs> Let's get suggestions from the cat. Meow! <laughs> I haven't even started drinking. I have. Oh, suggestions Meow! from the cat. <laughs> I, was in a, I was in a meeting like a month ago when I was still working from home. And um, I was talking to somebody. And I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And all of a sudden, I hear behind me, I hear, Meow! <laughs> Meow! And I was like, I'm sorry, excuse me, do you hear that cat? And they're like, yeah, what is that? And I was like, oh, I just couldn't tell if you could you could hear it. My cat came out of the ba the bedroom and just started screaming for no reason. <laughs> so yeah, he good. just walked out and just, meow! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what about um, Mountain Blade, you could do that, but I don't think there's like a worthwhile life skill. In Mountain See, they Blade. added a kingdom builder to that. At least Wasn't that always like, from the start? Make a kingdom, like oh, like an actual kingdom. Yeah, maybe I'll go back and do that because I felt like it was just it quickly got to this point where it was like a grind to get to where you could usurp everybody and make your own kingdom. Yeah, I just started killing, I just started beheading everyone, and they all got mad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what about, what about, I was going to say we could play Pikmin, but there's not really customization in that. Oh, that's true. I feel like we could come up, we should come up with a, with a we should come up with a spreadsheet and it's like 20 stream moms and each of them has a slight designator, whether it's like stream mom A, stream mom B or a number, or we like change one letter in their name for each of them. So like one of them is stream top, another one is cream mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. Excuse me? Um cream mom? So that way we can we can like track them through the games instead of all of them being the same. Oh, you didn't beat that level yet? Oops. Sorry. I'm trying to think of some other Games with custom characters. I was thinking like Fire Emblem, but not really. Customizable characters games. We could do, uh, we could do gym class, which is WWE 2K20, where we make custom wrestlers. Uh, I don't know if Do I like Do you not this. like this idea? I don't think it's great. I don't think it's Subpixel Ink. Uh, no, I think... Oh. I actually think it's a good idea for a stream series. I don't think it's a good idea for Subpixel Ink. Oh, I'm just thinking for of like... Business. We're, we're down in the We're down in the dumps right now. We need Our approval to rating's do down. We have no money. We either need money or we need marketing. We need like viral success. What if we play a bunch of like YouTube sim, you know, where it's like, it's like video maker sim, game dev sim. Yeah, I think those are just going to develop into like, man, this game really sucks. Well, we wouldn't play it to completion. We would just like would cheese it, completion. but that's not really, a, that's not really a carry through. That's why I like the stream mom ideas that there's, there's a chronological order to it. You know, they're kids, they're babies, they're kids, they're teens, they're adults, they're old people. Hmm. 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 Play Minecraft. 
going. Oh, did I tell you I started watching uh, Gundam again? Nice. I started watching um, MS Igloo. It's a more recent series, but I, I kind of reached this point where... Uh, excuse me, I'm about to sneeze any second now. It's basically... <laughs> you yawn. Sorry. Didn't Still got sneeze. sneezes. You basically... um. I reached this point because there's like a watch order for Gundam, but I reached this point where they're like, hey, now there's different timelines. There's like a future. There's like a past. There's like an alternate history. And they're like, now you get to just pick like which timeline you want to follow and then watch these series in that order in those timelines. Um, so I kind of stuck relatively within the same one year war time frame that the first series takes place in because there's a lot of side stories within that. Mm -hmm. So it, long story short, I went from like, I think the last series I watched was like 1990 or late 80s. And now I'm watching uh, Blue, which is from 2004 to 2009. But here's the thing. You ready for this? Here's the thing. Ready. William, are you ready? ready? Yep. It's 100%. Oh, it's 100% CGI. Ugh. And folks, do you remember that TV show uh, reboot? No. Is that what it was called? You don't remember Reboot Kids Show? Remember we had this discussion and then I looked up that other game that or that other TV show. So You don't remember Reboot from 1994? No, it was the year I was born. Okay, well that's fair. Okay, it's kind of like let me look up this. Um I, mean, I know how. Oh, no, it's just looking up. It kind of looks and I see spirits within. Yes. Oh. It doesn't even look that good. That, that movie looks good, though. You should look up Dead Space Aftermath and tell me if it looks better than that. I'm going to laugh if it looks identical. This is like, this is cell shaded, though. No, this no. This isn't that bad. Look up Dead Space 3. Or sorry, Dead Space Aftermath 3D. Like the there's a 3D portion that looks oh, okay. atrocious. The way they do that movie is cool, but it looked like it was just like Western anime. No, so the like main story is 3D, and then each of the sub stories is a different uh, art style. Wait, oh, you know what? I'm seeing clips of it in the trailer. They're doing a good job of hiding it in the trailer. Yeah, it's rough. The trailer is a lot of anime, oh. which I'm fine with. But. Oh, you know what? No, nah, well, I'd say it's about the same. It looks like uh, Night Long. Yes, it's very close. And that's that's what Igloo is. But I'm still watching it. It's only nine episodes. Okay, can I just say it's, something? It's actually it's actually three parts and there's three episodes per part and it took like five or six years to make it. So it's it's actually like not a big commitment and I'm I'm curious to see where it goes. So I'm watching it. I feel like your bar with Gundam is this my same bar with video games. Where you're you're just watching it even though it has all these faults. I'll accept that. But to be fair, I did today see a tank that was this was enormous this tank <laughs> was like as wide as two gundams are tall it was huge <laughs> I and i immediately looked today. up the model oh is there a model there is a model actually you know i'm gonna keep looking it up because i think it was i think it was like 250 dollars in stock hi lanny dopez uh, i'm gonna add your level to the list we're gonna play it next you can play it literally um, right now we're gonna play it but if you'd also like to donate, this is a charity stream. It's up to you. But anyways, thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for submitting a level. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make these level codes. Okay, so let me... It's MS oh. Igloo. 
Can you put Here. a level code back there for a second? Yeah. I just want to adjust this. I see. Boom. The level code. Okay, you can get rid of it now. So the only thing is um, this model it's an ex model so it's not to scale but uh, it's still pretty big it's it's like twice as long as an hg and the model the model doesn't look that great honestly but basically it's like this tank with this really long gun and then halfway through this guy's like you haven't seen my final form or something like that and the <laughs> upper part becomes like a torso what so then he's like holding guns and he has like a the, the cannon head is like coming off the top. It like goes over the top of his head. So it's weird. It's like. It's bad animation. Writing's a little iffy, but it has some really good themes in it because the, the guy here, I'll tell you this story. The guy, he shows up for this episode. He shows up with this tank and basically it's this like group in the war. Who's just like the special projects group and special projects to test out but they feel like they're being neglected because they're on a crappy ship and they're getting these old projects. They send this tank and the tank was like designed and built three years ago, but it failed the test. And they send the head tank instructor from like the tank school with the tank. And the guy's bitter and he's bitter because tanks are no longer cool. Tanks are of mobile suits because there's now Gundams. So he's bitter about it. So he's like, I'm going to prove that this tank is amazing, that it didn't deserve to fail the test, and that it does have a place with these mobile suits. Long story, dropped into combat. They get ambushed. He ends up taking out like six of them, but in the end, he does die, and the tank gets destroyed. But it's like a nice little story where this guy, like even though he's in the war, and even though his side is winning, he feels like he's being neglected because the profession that he has perfected, that he's become an expert at, is now an outdated combat technique. So it's just an interesting little story like that. Um, that's really cool, actually. Um, <clears throat> speaking yeah. of tanks um, and like big cannons, that that railgun from World War II is always like my favorite yeah. giant thing to look at. I think I have a picture of it. I I had this uh, big old uh, folder of like images that I just thought were like cool email from i think it was snapfish or something they're like hey you just got a hundred free uh like picture prints whatever so i literally dumped the file sent it to them and they sent me like cvs printouts of photos of all these random photos so they're like they're like mug shots from like this australian thing like police what? station from like the oh 1800s there's a picture of like rommel and like hitler observing that giant thing being built oh that's nice and it's like a great photo and stuff i was like i hope people don't find these and just are like man this guy is crazy <laughs> it's like pictures of these that's the other thing and... yeah that's the other thing about aliexpress is that they have cheap posters and cheap like canvas prints like it costs 10 bucks to get like a two by three foot canvas print and then you just have to put it on a frame yourself um and you just send them like an image and they'll print it on canvas for you. So I'm tempted to get some crazy stuff like that. Um, yeah, I thought. It was yeah, I actually. So so speaking of that giant cannon kind, kind of related to it. So there was a guy, I think it was a British engineer in the 70s and 80s who got very famous for designing giant cannons like that. And he actually went to Iraq in the 80s at the behest of Saddam Hussein and built them a giant cannon. But it was never finished. I don't think they ever fired it. And then eventually, I think the guy was assassinated by Mossad in like Germany or something. <laughs> because he was like, he was this guy that just went around building giant cannons for people and he didn't really care about the <laughs> politics of it. He's just like building cannons. So they had, a, yeah. <laughs> so they had a section of it. At, I think it was like the artillery or the musicians museum in London that I went to. And it's outside and I stood next to it and this the cross section of this pipe was about like it was like five five and a half feet and that's just one section of the barrel so the barrel was like four feet wide it was crazy Jeez. yeah just this giant section oh you butthole yeah i, I just so i really close. love the idea of and i feel like anime really embraces this is the idea of like oh a cannon 
is just a pipe that you put stuff into. Like they take a simple concept and they're like, but what would what would like a crazy person with a lot of money and a lot of evil do? Well, they would just build a giant version of it. They wouldn't build <laughs> a better weapon. They just build a giant obnoxious version of it. Yeah. It's like, um, you seen uh, Evangelion? No. <laughs> So this is, don't worry, this isn't a spoiler, but like, I think a couple episodes in, or it may even be the end of the first episode, they have to like take out this enemy. Um, hi, Colton Clark, I'm adding your level to the list right now. Um, they have to build, they have to take out this enemy and the only way to take it out, they they have, they have giant, they're called Evas, but they're basically like mechs in a way. They're a little bit more stylized, but um, in order for them to take it out, they take the mech onto this hillside, like, 10 miles away and they put an energy pack on the ground and then they have the mech just use this giant literal sniper rifle and lay prone on the ground to shoot it <laughs> <laughs> what and in order to power it they have to bring all these generators and like plug into the plug in the energy into the <laughs> sniper rifle i can't believe i made it's it so, oh, it's so stupid but it's also so great because it's like it's like you could go with a better weapon. It's like, well, we need a sniper rifle, so let's just make a giant one and have a giant guy in a giant suit lay behind it. It's so <laughs> I stupid. love that so much. Like a Mecha Godzilla. What if we have a robot version of Godzilla that we can control? <laughs> That's so true. Why? Why do they make Mecha Godzilla? All right, is this your last one? Oh, I'm doing so well. Oh, you almost made it one time. You gotta, you gotta wall jump off it and then go to the left, right, and then back. Oh, I'm like shying away from it. No, there's like this. I think. Oh boy, folks, we are raising money for charity. If you'd like to, we are accepting donations. Uh, we're at forty-two dollars so far. We've got some ambitious goals, but that's okay. Um, you know, we may end up doing another uh, charity stream in the future, but. Any money you can give at all, even just two cents, it helps us out. But even if you can't give money, just sticking around and watching, that helps us too. Ha! Huh. Oh my oh. goodness. When I get up there, I forget to switch the stick. It's weird. It's like I'm getting just enough lag that when you get to the box, I can't tell what happens. <laughs> like, I can't tell if I'm hitting it or... Oh. I that time you're hitting it. Yeah. Yes. Oh. No. Ah. Oh boy, that hurt. Oh. Uh, we've also been watching Avatar. You've watched Avatar? I feel like we talked about this, and you've only watched a couple episodes. Yeah, I watched it when it aired. The whole thing, most of it, not all of it. Probably it's real good. We're we're season. we're almost done with it. I'm. It's just. It's. Oh, oh my god! I can't believe I did that. Um, this is gonna sound a little bit. Actually, you know what? This is this is like a little bit elitist, and definitely speaks <gasps> to my high standards. No! Hi, Tomato Lord. Thanks for joining. Did you? Oh. You didn't make it? No, Will, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Oh, I gotta finish it. I'm so close. Hi, yeah. Tomato Lord. Holy. Uh, oh, Tomato no, Lord, no. if you have a level for us to play, just throw the code in the chat and it'll add it to the list. Um, You ever get in this mood where you're like, you either play or you watch a lot of like mediocre shows or movies and you just kind of get used to that where you're like, yeah, I guess it was good. Yeah, I guess it was good. I guess it was okay. Yeah, I guess I kind of like that. And then you watch something that just kind of blows you away. You're like, I forgot how good this could be. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sorry. Focus. No, it's fine. So that's that's kind of what Avatar is for me because I've just been watching a lot of like mediocre to okay TV shows, but then you watch Avatar and the episodes are so well written and the storytelling is so good both within the episode and character arcs and it's just and the choreography um tomato it does not cost we'll still play your level um we just uh are taking donations I if you would like us to play your level it. immediately 
it's uh, it's only ten dollars for you to get bumped to the top of the list. As you can see right now, you're. Um, so you probably don't need to pay the ten dollars, but you should. Yeah. So we're we're still playing levels. Oh! Oh, come on! One more try? No. As many okay. tries as it takes. <laughs> um, I'm just being aggressive. Short answer is you don't have to pay anything. We're gonna play your level regardless, but we do appreciate donations. True. And the donations are not to us; they're to a charity. Oh, that was weird. Oh, you're missing the bottom. I know. There you go. Because I'm jumping too high. You're getting better. Oh, I hit the wrong. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that is the problem. I am getting better at uh, Mario. This version, the New World Order, 3D World. New Mario, like New World. has black helicopters all the time. What? He has a SWAT, a SWAT suit. This is getting a little bit too topical for this stream. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. My su Super Mario Brother. Order. <laughs> Super it's a crossover with the wrestling. <laughs> that was like four. Oh. <laughs> oh You're in some sort of horrible dystopia. No, oh, you ah. stupid man! How? How do I keep missing that? How? How? <laughs> I'm gonna make it. Will you though? Yes. I'm gonna beat this level if it kills me. <laughs> Those things, they're spaghettios. I don't know what they're called in Mario's beak, but they're spaghettios. Yeah, they are. <gasps> no, you s uh. I'm literally gonna die. Listen, we don't have that many levels. <laughs> I, no, I, I think keep going. This is good. This is good ten. Uh, don't ever shorten the word content in my presence <laughs> again. This is good ten, yo. This is good con. <laughs> hey. At least I'm not shortening it to the first four letters. <laughs> oh, you, you, something against, first. <laughs> you have something against countries? Wow. I'm nailing that jump. You. Oh. You know what? I should just stand on the donut spaghettio and just hang out for a little bit and like figure it out. Can you? Can you do that? Is it, is it easy to get it to go straight up and down versus an angle? Yeah. I feel yeah. Like I guess. Yeah. That's pretty good. Now I can't get through this one. But that's okay. Oh, what's up, Tommy Dog? Hey, Tommy Dog. Uh, hey. if you, if you've got a level for us to play. Boom, there's the level. I'll add it to the list right now. This, it's a Veda Lord bringing out a good point. I need to watch my words more closely because I said, quote, this is good con on a charity stream. <laughs> this is not a con, folks. This is a charity oh, stream. Oh, I see what you're saying. They meant like that's that's one con. of the reasons why we're using uh, Tiltify. I'll throw the donate chat in here. <laughs> donate link in the chat. Because um, they take care of it. We never see the money. We never touch the money. We don't process any payments. They take care of it. Stuff. We are raising money for them. We've got 42 doll hairs already. Every time you donate, I will do 10 push-ups and William will eat a nasty jelly bean. We get $100. Will's going to have to play the rest of the stream on a single Joy-Con, which is very annoying. $200. Will has to shave his beard. $300. I have to shave my hair, which is currently like six inches long. I'll shave all of it. On stream. Really good at eyeballing six inches. <laughs> that was about six inches. This is why I had to mark that one uh, Halo <laughs> Let's Play episode. Did you really? I couldn't tell if you were serious. I I did, but they actually okay. I I will give this to YouTube. They have improved. I don't know if they've done this in a while because I haven't uploaded a YouTube video in a while, but. They added this thing where when you upload a video and you say, do you want to enable monetization on this video? You say yes. And then they have a new tab that says like, okay, let's talk about violence. Is there any violence in this? Is it cartoon violence? Is it like graphic violence? Does it show people dying? Like you select that option. And then they have one for swearing. They have one for like, um, they have one for profanity. And there's different levels you can pick and very good descriptions of each level. 
and depending on what you pick it will either keep the monetization switch it to somewhat suitable as in like not all ads will be available for it to not suitable for monetization gotcha yeah um so basically going through that checklist one of our videos it was late at night and we were we were saying a lot of not quite inappropriate things but a lot of innuendo so i felt obligated to to mark that Yeah! Hey! <laughs> Sorry, I blew up my mic Great like crazy. Job. Oh man, I'm so sweaty. Oh, I just need to sit back for a second. Oh, oh, look at my pits. Ooh. No, I'm so glad I can't see your camera right now. Pit me, daddy. Hmm. <laughs> My new favorite thing Hit is try to say daddy. something funny when you're drinking. I can see when you drink. Is that today's urine or <sighs> yesterday's? Thank you. You know Tommy what? Dog. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm a little upset right now. Eight minutes at my local McDonald's. I went oh, to McDonald's, no. and I'm so glad I was paying attention. Last time I went to McDonald's, Wait, can I you said, "Pay attention and change the uh, level." Uh, I did. Isn't this the one I... Yeah, 36k. That's the one I just did. Oh, you know what? I put it in the wrong section. Sorry. Oh. Anyways, um, McDonald's. <clears throat> What's your go-to order at McDonald's? Um, Chicken sandwich, usually. Yeah, that's not bad. I've, I've really gotten to, into the double cheeseburger. That something um, about fast food beef does not agree with my stomach. I I can kind of agree with that, but but I like the cheeseburgers because they're small. I got a quarter pounder recently. No, I like. And it's them. just too much. It's it's too much bad meat. Yeah, I you just like so like the, out of toilet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I got um. I got the double cheeseburger, and and last time I ordered, I said double cheeseburger, large meal with a root beer. And I was like, okay. And then I get home and I taste the soda and it's a Dr. Pepper. Oh. And I'm okay with Dr. Pepper. It's just the thing about Dr. Pepper is it has caffeine in it. And I don't really drink caffeine. So I, I drank it anyways, but I was like, would have preferred the root beer. So I go back today. And uh, because I was driving around, I was hungry. And it's like Friday. I was like, let me treat myself. So I get some Mickey D's and I say, number nine large with the root beer and they say number nine large root beer and i look at the screen on their fancy drive through and they put in a dr pepper Oof. i think this mcdonald's has a policy of not telling people they don't carry root beer and instead they just automatically substitute it that or and i was disgusting. thinking that particular cashier thinks dr pepper is a type of root beer yeah but then i have to get that cashier twice which or maybe cashiers think. I, yeah or maybe the button's broken and they're pressing the root beer button did you say anything yeah i immediately was like oh i'm sorry can i get a sprite instead and so they oh switched so it you up. didn't even ask about the root beer thing so no i mean at that point that. i just i just well you're through drive through there's like crazy it's long lines so i just figured at that point you know anyways um so that's how I got a Sprite. I feel like there's something about McDonald's to get in the Sprite. I like a Coke. You piece of Coke for me garbage. is uh, Coke's too sweet. Coke's like way too sugary for me now. Yeah. Because um, I'm too used to Diet Coke, even though I don't even drink Diet Coke anymore. I hate Diet so, like, Coke. Hate Coke is pertains. just... I think it's... I think Coke and Diet Coke are, are different, but... It's not that one is better than the other. It's just that you get used to one over the other. Yeah. No, but like so aspartame the other taste, like, I don't know if it's just, I can like super taste it, but sugar-free stuff always, mm -hmm. it, it just like weird taste to it that doesn't agree. It's not even like a sweet yeah. and I'm like, oh no, just like a bad taste. No, no, I agree. And I think that's the taste that I kind of like about it. It's a, it's, it's a hard to describe taste, but I, I like it and you don't like it. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, Zach says McDonald's Dr. Pepper has a better mix than anywhere else in the bottle. I've heard that. I've heard that about Sprite as well. 
And I've heard people who've worked at McDonald's say what they do is, because there's basically a calibration you can do to determine how much syrup per carbonated water. And what they do is they deliberately knock the syrup up a couple notches so that people notice that it tastes better and then they're more likely to go back to a McDonald's yeah. for a soda. I agree. It's, Which is I not, think it's the best I'm way fine to with soda it. is syrup plus carbonation. Second best is cans. Third best is small bottles. Fourth is... So beer. my only hesitation about the syrup plus carbonation is that... I, I don't know. It's probably like 25 to 30% of the time the, the mix is not right. Depending on like where you get it, you know? So there's always a little bit of a gamble. Whereas at least with cans, it's pretty much always the same. Yeah, that's true. You know the thing about like how awfully disgusting uh, drink machines are? At, like, yeah. Yep. I try not to think about yep. it. Um. Anyways, that's my McDonald's story. Hope that you guys was a liked good story. It. I wish you would Thanks. tell it again, so I could hear it again. So a couple weeks ago, I went to McDonald's. Uh, Will, what's your usual order at McDonald's? Um, I go to McDonald's maybe twice a year, so I couldn't tell you. Usually, I look at the menu and I think, oh. I'll get that. Um, but mostly, sometimes George will go and he'll be like, hey, what do you want from McDonald's? And I'll usually just say a chicken sandwich because that agrees with my belly. I think we but can I all agree. I got a good Wendy's best, order the other day. I think we can all agree. The best fast food french fries. McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easily. Second place. Well, Close second place, I'll admit. Waffle fries from Chick-fil-A. Does Five Guys count as fast food? Because their fries were good. It does. Their fries are good. But I don't I don't think they're different. Yeah. Different. I could give them a second. I feel like they get too soggy. I like soggy fries. It depends. Karen makes really good French fries. I think like I think soggy fries. Oh, I think soggy fries. I think I like soggy fries. Not that I like them. I think I'm just so excited that they taste good as soggy fries that I consider them better than they really are. Does that make sense? It's mm -hmm. kind of like if you eat a pile of dog crap and it tastes like chocolate, you're like, oh, this tastes really good, actually. I thought it was going to be terrible. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I say. I'll have to get her. Uh, fr she she actually fries them though. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, see that's I don't like frying. Well, yeah, she like Ooh. reuses the oil a bunch too, so. Kinda works oh, out. tomato lord! See the crazy thing, tomato lord is I'm not even. I'm gonna go look at your your emojis in Twitch chat because we use a restream, which makes it easy for us to see chat across multiple platforms. So I'm going to see if the emojis even match up. Emoji. Oh, you like know what? I can't see chat history. Oh, yeah. Twitch, you have oh. to be there when it happens. Unless it's oh, a wow, look. afterwards. Try to fix my video. My video is a little wonky, but I'm pretty sure it's on my side. Yeah, you look very green. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, you say grainy or green? Green. Okay, I'm gonna try and pause my video frame. All right, go back. Oh, find who has the key. You. Oh, it worked. So, uh, Tomato Lord, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to describe the emojis I see to you. One looks like it's Luigi drinking Kool-Aid. That was a couple ways back. The next one looks like it's a woman who has a uh, an open-faced burrito as a hat. We are taking level codes, folks. We'll play your level. All you got to do is put that level code in the chat and we'll play it. We've only got one level in the queue right now. We are also taking donations for I Need Diverse Games, which is a charity that supports diversity in game development. They find uh, minority and people of color game developers and support them and their projects. One of the great things they do is they uh, will provide money 
to uh, people who need tickets to GDC. Uh, GDC is the Game Developers Conference. It's very expensive, but it's very important for networking and industry relations and even just learning about game development. Um, so they help help people go there. They basically provide scholarships for them to attend the conference. We're raising money for them. We've got $42 so far. We've got some incentives. Number one, not really applicable right now, but if you want to add your level to the list and you want to immediately add it to the top of the list, as in we play it next, do $10. Just make sure your donation name matches the name in chat. That way we know it's your level that needs to be bumped up. We're also, no matter how small the donation, Will will eat a nasty jelly bean and I will do 10 push-ups. So far I've done 30 push-ups. Will's eaten three nasty jelly beans. Um, Two, Karen. If we reach a hundred... Cheater. If we reach a hundred dollars, Will will switch over to playing Super Mario Maker 2 on a single little tiny Joy-Con, which is terrible. I'm sure you all know about that. If we reach two hundred dollars will will shave his beard if we reach three hundred dollars i'll shave my entire head on stream that this looks like fun oh come on it won't oh it did... oh wait was I... ah! wow oh it's luigi covered in spaghetti Oh, oh it I looks think like I a see woman it now. Yeah, oh, I it, see it now. It does look like a their woman. Their mustache, Luigi's mustache, almost looks like the separation between the like like a neck shadow. Yeah. And then the spaghetti looks like blonde hair. It's kind of funny. She looks like a Final Fantasy character. Yeah. Like a, like a cheap, uh, a little bit of a chibi. Yeah. You got any plans for the weekend? Um, video games, probably. Prob probably. Uh, some more Yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta content. write some content. Hi, Dether. Add your level to the list right now. Oh boy. Last attempt here. Don't you go That's through okay. the Ooh. oh boy next Nightmare level Hunter. folks next level folks yeah i wonder if i should get rid of that ten dollars your level next uh no we can keep it hi low gamer we're uh we're playing super mario maker 2 but we're also raising money for charity uh so if you want us to play your level just go ahead and throw the code in the chat we'll add it to the list if you want to donate money I'll uh, I'll put that little donate link in. We've got it on the stream, but I've also got a shortcut right here for you. Boom! The hot shortcut. I don't need. How's that water? Tasty. When Galumbas leave pipes, they walk towards you. Galumbas decide your feet. Galumba love you. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Oh. oh, that's adorable. I was like, I'll let Ian say his, but then I'll say mine. Galumba. Oh, the Galumba decided my fate. You got Galoombaed. Thank you for the submission, Low Gamer. Aw, uh, thanks. Adding it to the level lister right now. Sorry, I got the water burpers.
did it. Thanks for the level tomato lord. Adding it to the list. Hello, I, the Great Galumba, will decide your fate. Boom! Oh, tis I, tis I, the, the greatest, greatest of Galumbas, Galumbas. and I, mm. your fate, I'll decide. The Great Galumba speaks for you. Hi, I'm the biggest Galumba. Ah, but I'm not as big as your feet. The great Galumba has spoken. Your fate is in your own hands now. Man, we should do... Yeah, I <laughs> the greatest of Galumbas has descended upon us today. <laughs> How? What percentage of wanting to play D&D &D or other tabletop RPG games is just wanting to do silly voices? Like for you, what's the percent? It's like 150. Yeah, it's it's definitely above 50% for me. I'm the Great Galumba. Nice. Yeah, I'm the Great Galumba. I, the king of these lands, welcome you. And I want you to know that I freaking hate this level. I've died. Oh, you goofed it. I think you gotta stay down below because they walk towards you. Ian. Oh, if you low been gamers got a boss rush. If you haven't been paying attention, then don't don't comment. Well, I have to jump up. It's about deciding what? which one to go in. It's like a quiz. Is it though? Random. Because see, okay. now you're gonna die. I know, because I chose the wrong one. But you chose the right one earlier. No, I died. It came and killed me. No, I'm saying you went on the right earlier and you died. And you went on the left on this one and you died. Yeah, now I'll try this. You're one. in the middle? The Great Galumba has spoken. Hey. Hi, this I... is the Great Galumba. Um, we're just calling. Oh, I get it now. You just you chose the wrong one. Got it. You're an idiot. It's just funny because you made it sound like it was chance, but really you're just an idiot that didn't realize you had to go to the middle one. <laughs> you're the worst. <laughs> I know you're joking, but I really want to hurt you for saying that. I'm honestly not joking because I just looked at it for 30 seconds and I was like, oh yeah, you got to go to the middle one. What do you, there's no... Okay, you know what? The next one, you can because, tell me where to go. Because the seesaws, they will never drop down to the middle because the seesaws will always okay, push which them Which one to do I go in, then? Okay, give me a second. Which one do I go um, in? You're going to guess, and you're going to guess right. Okay, give me a second. I'm looking at it. Oh, why is this a toughy one? Well, you go on the left because then you can jump to kill them. Well, the left. Wait, what's what's on the left? Left. Oh, you probably need that. No, oh, it's just a design. Uh, low gamer, we have a timer just so that we don't spend too much time trying to beat somebody's level. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go left. Let's go left. I hate you. Oh, Jesus. oh, it's so easy. Damn so you, Jimmy! I just got a text from Jimmy, and it says, I'm watching two losers talk about seesaws. Oh, look, <laughs> Ian, you didn't get it right, you freaking idiot. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe... I, I tricked you! I knew it would be wrong, so I told you to go down that one. I, you, just, you just have to look at it, and then you know. You know, because the seesaws? Gosh. Yeah. You're literally well, the worst. This is probably going to... This is probably going to be wrong, too, right? No! One is right and one is wrong! There's a right oh, answer! Oh, because it's got that... 
It's got that block. Wait. <gasps> but you you didn't you didn't pick it though. You picked the wrong one too. <gasps> <laughs> Oh boy. I hate you. Oh. Jimmy, you should donate some money. We're hey, raising Jimmy, money for you... uh, charity. Yeah, because of that, you know, because of that thing you did. Probably donate. Yeah, we won't mention it on yeah, stream. We won't talk about it here. We you won't talk me. about <laughs> the white goo from our last game together. <laughs> oh man, I forgot about that. Oh, which that one do good. I go in, Ian? Oh, okay, give me a second here. Give me that one. I know you can probably figure it out. I just meant it's not going to... It's faster to just choose. Well, no, see, the thing is, you got to go... He'll drop, that'll lower, he'll walk up, hit that thing, it'll lower back. So I think no, wait, wait, but, but, but which way he walks up the slide? I think if you go there, he's just going to walk down the slide. Because when he leaves the pipe, he's going to head towards you, right? So I yeah. think if you're on the left side... I think he's gonna go up though. Let's try it. I think he's gonna drop. Yep, I hit that. He hits that. Nope. Oh, then he kills you. Yep. Yeah. yeah I knew that. <laughs> I was just testing you. I, I'm trying to remember which ones I've done. I thought they lined up, but. I think I've done this one. Oop. Oh, he fell See? down that time. Yeah, that, that's a little weird. I wasn't expecting him to fall down, but I knew if he went right, he would go right towards you. Oh. Oof. I, I wasn't jumping. <laughs> I was like, why aren't I going up? Okay, so I have one door left. This is the kind it's of levels I blue. like. Require absolutely no skill. Do the, do the blue. It's the blue. I've already done the blue. The one that you, but you didn't get the coin on the blue. I didn't? No, because when you went through the coin collection, it looked like there was a blue coin. No, this is the one you... Yeah, I don't think they but line up properly. Oh, they don't. Uh, we're going to go to the next level the next time we die. Yes, sorry. I haven't died. I mean, I have died, but it's part of the game to die. So I wasn't really... Counting. Yeah, basically, we, we go until the die... Until... The timer is out, and we die. But we got plenty of time. We're going to stream for at least another hour. Plenty yeah. of time. See, that's a door. But I tell you what, if you're feeling impatient, you could donate $10, and we'll immediately move your level to the top of the list. It's true. It'll happen. I think I've... Have I gone through that one? The one I haven't done? I don't think I've done that. Okay, all right, let's... Oh, you're just gonna... Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh. Okay. Hey, it was... Yeah, top left. Yeah, so, so well, Gamer, the way the timer works is once the timer is out, we, we, we get that life remaining. So if you're in the middle of the level and the timer goes out, the next time you die... Yeah, and it, I'm not counting it on this particular level because it's yeah, part of the level to... to die. Yeah, don't don't worry. We'll get to your level. We've got plenty of time. Oh, you did it. Oh, you right? know what? I could have just gotten that lucky coin. Oh no! It, now I got yeah, that's it. cheating. Mind. No, I, I did need it. Oh. Oh my oh. God! What is this? What do you think it is? Okay, wait. Let's look. Do they they look identical? Are they identical? Hmm. Yeah. Just wait. Way can, he comes can't out. you just? But you're not going to pop the P switch, so just go through, right? Oh. But he's always going to. There you go. Oh, oh! It was a joke. Oh, oh boy. That's funny. <gasps> hey. Do do do. do, do. There we go. Nice job. Luigi. It's a Luigi. Course clear. Whew. Thank you, Tommy Dog. Next level, level from eight minutes. Dether. 
001. Boom. Dether. How's that weather? It's okay. 3BH. Tell me What's why. the, um... I want to hear more about Clubhouse Games colon 55 Worldwide Classics. What's the, like, the procession like? You, you talked about how you beat one game. You beat all the levels. There's, like, different difficulty levels for you to beat. Uh, so in the, the boxes and crosses, um, get the key to win. Sorry, one second. Pay attention. Spikes, not only spikes. Um, so I beat the... It's just, like, you can up the, the, uh, the AI difficulty, but it unlocks trivia about it as you're doing it oh okay um and then the other thing is oh no oh, oh. oh i can't hit it i gotta die um the other thing about it is they like you make your figurine and everything and you place yeah. yourself on the globe and then around the globe are these different guys that are like, hey, come talk to me. I'll show you all of uh, the games that Nintendo made back in the 1800s. Or, uh, oh, hey, cool. I'll, uh, if you give me a thousand dollars, I'll kill you. So it's like funny things like that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that sounds like, I just wanted to, I know it's got 51 games, but I was curious what kind of mechanics yeah, so you, like progression can... mechanics they had around it yeah i think oh, wow. in the single player i think you can unlock different modes or like difficulties by playing the single player more um mm -hmm. from what i could tell from the uh whatchamacallit from the oh from what i could tell from the menu it kind of looked like there was a like there was a thing that had a like a selection menu, but I couldn't select anything in it. So I'm guessing I can unlock something in the menu there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, Umberto. Playing billiards. Got your level. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm excited to play it. I'm going to play a little bit tonight. Yeah, it's really good. Really enjoying and it. And it's nice that it's 40 bucks. That's that's a nice solid yeah, price point. Totally. Oh, don't hurt me. This fat suit looks hard to control. Is that what it is? A fat suit? Yeah, it's it's like the one from Mario World, or I think it's might be oh. Mario Three that has the fat suit. Oh, maybe it is Mario yeah. World. Um, like it, but it controls completely different. Like in in the actual game, you just like float up and you can't stop. Got it. You're getting better at it. I'm proud Thanks. of you. Oh! That's tough. Can't believe you would say that. Either. Oh, it's getting better. Wow. That's real tough. That's just... Oh, I hate that. I wish when I got to the next room, there was a flag. Unless I'm... Oh, no. Oh, no. Daddy. Daddy! Oh, you did, boy. I've come to really like Mario Maker, despite how much I hate Mario Maker. I should say the stream. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think. Um, oh, it's I, I don't mean this to be. I don't mean this to say mean. I think part of Mario Maker's problem is they don't do a lot of community tools around it. That it feels like they don't really do tools to nurture and encourage a community as well as they should and i think the other problem is that the community is is very skill oriented rather than like actually making good coherent logical levels they just decide to make insane challenge levels you know it's it's like when you're playing a game like mario or another platforming game or like celeste where there are challenge levels and like they're small little bite-sized pieces but they're focused around like challenging your skills but they're never going to be as hardy or as well designed or as good as the story levels it feels like 99 percent of the levels that the super mario maker 2 community makes are challenge levels yeah where they may be cool but they're not hardy oh man No! 
Yeah, exactly, Tomato Lord, like like Kaizo levels. Those are all about the challenge, which uh, those have a place, but a lot of the community makes those levels. <laughs> oh, so Tomato says this is helium. He, you breathe in the helium from the pee balloon, and then you... Yeah, but it, it worked differently in Mario World. Like, you could... He just, like, went really big, and then he would slowly, like, get smaller. Oh, or not slowly get smaller. He would, yeah. like, deflate. If you hit the timer, he would, like, go from big to small, like, blink. And then... Oh, come on. I'm so close. Oh, time's up. Time shot. Oh, time is up. Time, time, and time, time. That worked out. Low gamer. Baby boy, it's your time to shine. Boom. Just a reminder, folks, we are taking donations. We've got the donation link in the chat. We've got it on the stream as well. We're giving to I Need Diverse Games, which is all about supporting minorities in game development. Uh, we've raised 42 doll hairs so far. We've got a couple donation setups. You can see them all around the chat. You don't have to donate for us to play your level, but we sure do appreciate it if you do. I'll appreciate it. Koopaling's boss rush the mo. No, um, low gamer said your timer's too short. But I was just thinking, if, if someone sent us a level where you never die, we would never finish the level. I think we've done that before, though, where we reset it, where we we no, stop playing the level at some point. No, I think so too. But I'm saying, as per our rules, theoretically. Yeah. So the so the reason why it's four minutes is, um, basically the problem is, even with this four minute timer, it means we're not going to play Umberto's level for another eight to ten minutes including load times so the problem is if you end up getting 10 people on the list the people who are at the bottom of the list even with that four minute timer it's going to be yeah. a while before we get to their game so if we didn't have that timer and the fact that we're bad at the game and we're not likely to beat most of these levels we wouldn't get as many levels in i feel like we figured out because we used to do what was it we started with like five minutes i think we figured out yeah, i think it was five minutes four minutes is like the perfect amount of time yeah, because the levels the levels you can beat, you typically... The levels you are capable of beating, you can do in four minutes, or at least get a good way through. Dang it. And it helps us see a lot, of, a lot of levels. We like to see a lot of different levels rather than spend, you know, most of the stream on one or two levels. Oh. Dang it. I like this. This pipe design, though. Yeah. Can you go through them? Uh, I don't know. I didn't actually try. Probably not, though. Or That'd be cool, because then you could drop down. Boom. Nope, that was not what I wanted. Take that. Oh, please no. Please no. Oh. Oh, that's just cruel. <gasps> oh. Got him, folks. Boom. You got him. Ow. Oh, it's a real boss rush. So you don't even get a shroom between rooms. I don't no get shrooms a between rooms. Between, between, shrooms between rooms. Oh, I gotta pee again. After this level, I'm gonna go pee. Okay. Warning you. I started playing Mario, Super Mario World again. When I, I think it was like doing laundry at Karen's parents' house and like, oh, I'll just play a game. So I started playing it on uh, the old Switch SNES library, which they added wild guns on there. You should totally play that mm -hmm. on the stream because that game is very good. I'm down. Oh, 
still got it. Die! Die! No one likes you. We all took a vote. Boom! In the castle. In the door. I'm not. Oh! Really don't like these ghosts. Oh. Oh. I'm a ghost. No! You. I was trying to position. Oh, okay. Who's up next? Next, next. You want to do last, last one? Yeah, I can do the last one. Last try. I like this though. This looks like a challenging boss rush, but it's not brutal. A boss rush? Boss rush? It's a non-brutal boss rush. Oh, that did hurt. I like, uh, who's your favorite Koopaling? Tomato Lords is Roy. I like Ludwig. I, I like Ludwig the I like the Koopaling. wiggly arm guy. Is that Roy? Let me look him up. Koopa Ling. Wiggly arm guy is oh with the green hair? No, he's he's bald. Big shell. Turns into spikes, but he wiggles his arms like this. Uh, I think you're talking about Roy. Okay, Roy's great then. Okay, I'm gonna okay. type in this next level code, and then I'm gonna go say goodbye to my PP. You can't do that at the same time. Nope, I can't see the screen. That yeah, let's see. This is Tomato Lord level. Okay, I will be right back, Tomato Lord. I am Lord of Tomatoes. All right, so while Will's taking a PP break, um, I'm just going to take a quick opportunity to pitch two things. Number one, we do have a charity stream going on right now. We're donating money to I Need Diverse Games. It's a charity that supports diversity in game development by finding uh unique uh, minority and people of color game developers and uh, supporting their projects, giving them publicity, helping them get opportunities they would not otherwise get by sponsoring them to go to different conferences, et cetera. It's a great charity. All you got to do is type in the donate link on the stream as well as the donate link or the donate link in chat should be the same link. And uh, that will help you donate some money. We've got some incentives going on. You can see that all around the overlay. We are also Subpixel. Uh, you can find us at subpixelfilms.com. We do a lot of stuff. We like to stream Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. Those are our more official streams. We did this charity stream because, well, it's, it's been a crazy week, and the world needs a little bit of help right now, and we thought, why not pitch in where we can? Um, we also do videos every Monday on our YouTube channel. Most of those are game analysis videos. We also have a brand new series that's premiering today where it's a Let's Play of Halo 1 or Halo CE on the xbox uh will and i have been playing it uh we took us about a year to shoot we were just lazy to get it shot and edited but it's finally releasing nine parts first part came out today a new part every single day all the way through next saturday um that's going to be a lot of fun we also have documentaries that's kind of our namesake in a way we have several documentaries up we went to iceland for five days to shoot a, a documentary on the isolation game jam which is a 16 game developers that gather in the middle of literally in the middle of nowhere in iceland and uh design little games over a course of a, a couple of days and they collaborate and kind of relax and build and be creative together. So we shot a documentary about that. We also shot a documentary about the Morristown game fault, which is this crazy arcade in New Jersey that is inside of a bank fault. Yes, you heard that right. It's a bank that is more than a hundred years old. And uh, this guy rented it out and is now running an arcade out of it with more than a hundred arcade cabinets. It's crazy. A lot of cool stuff there. We also have the Epitasis game doc, uh, which is about Epitasis. It's this indie game that was uh, kickstarted, created, developed, and released by one single developer who had a dream to release an indie game of his own. And he he went through with it. It's a, it's a great story, and he, and he had a great uh, composer to help him out with the soundtrack. And then we also have a documentary on uh, Halo CE mod community. Yes, that's right. Halo 
custom edition for the PC. There is still an active mod community for that game. And we went around and interviewed three key members of it and how they got started with the game, the things they've done for the game and modded into it. And um, just their thoughts on, on the Halo series as a whole. But that's Subpixel. You can find us at subpixelfilms.com if you're interested in any of that. Or you can follow us on Twitch, Facebook, Mixer, Instagram, and Twitter at Subpixel Team. Will, back to you. Thank you, sweet boy. Oh, sorry. There was a, I haven't peed that much in a while. You know when you get like a super long pee? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's start the timer. Start. Boom, boom. Ooh. Guess that. It's just quench. <gasps> no. The problem also is the physics between this mm -hmm. and Mario, actual Super Mario World 2 are different. Yeah. They're like slightly off, which actually threw me off when I first started playing this and like the first time, a couple times we streamed it because I want to say I played, oh, we just got a donation of $58 from Jami Jones. Oh my, oh my goodness, goodness. Jami Jones. Jami, that might mean, oh, wait, where no. exactly? Think... Did someone else donate $3? No, you just can't do math. Hi, DGR Gaming. Uh, welcome to our charity stream. You've just reached... You've come here at the perfect time. Will yeah. has to stop this level and restart it with a single Joy-Con. Uh, don't worry, I will um, restart the timer. Uh, no, I thought we were and, at 40... I thought we were at 42. Yeah, what's 42 plus 58? Oh, I thought he said... I thought it said 55. I can't... I can't... I thought it was 55. Anyways, <laughs> math... Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, I'm going to add DJR. I'm going to add your level to this list. I'm also going to do 10 push ups. Because oh, yeah, I gotta that's eat my end of the bargain. Here we oh, go. Oh, boy. This Folks, one? that's. Whew. Let me do my push ups. Oh. I think it was spoiled milk. Spoiled milk. Rotten egg? Rotten egg? You just kept yelling rotten egg. Rotten egg. <laughs> well, not rotten egg. Ow. This might be gone. Thank you, Jami Jones. Thank you. I know 42 plus 58 is 100. I thought it said 55. I might have read 58 out loud, but when I looked at it, I saw 55. And I was like, that's not 100. Um, okay, I got to switch. Oh, that tasted awful. Oh, Daddy's back. Which one did you get? Boiled milk. Oh, that was really nice. That's really, really bad. It was really nice. Plus, these. Ex when did these expire? June oh, 2019. No. Oh no. And, I mean, it's Best Buy. It's not ex expiration. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy, you ain't getting those push-ups back. <laughs> Jimmy, I just read it. I want. <laughs> You ain't getting them back, boy. You ain't getting them back. Because the other thing was, I was six or seven into the push-ups, and I start hearing screeching from my headphones. Oh, because <laughs> it was Karen... loud enough that I didn't have it on, and I could hear it. I was like, uh, she's like, what is it? Rotten egg? And I go, no, spoiled milk. She goes, rotten egg? She kept rotten saying egg. rotten egg. And I was like, I'm the rotten one with egg. the headphones. You can hear me. Rotten egg? <laughs> And she kept saying and it then, like that. I don't know why. Like an insane I almost person. Buckled. <laughs> she just told me I'm not getting any dinner tonight. What is that? Rotten egg? Rotten egg <laughs> for dinner. Well, was it right? Uh, I was like, it's clearly not. DJR says that sometimes he uses one Joy-Con in Super Mario Maker 2. I'm curious, DJ, why you do that. Is it like more you, nostalgic for you? Is it because you hate yourself? Look at my hands. Is it this tiny little object. It's inside here. Oh. It's, it's the worst. Oh, yeah. This tiny little object is inside here. This was a good incentive, though. We came oh. up with this at the last minute. Yeah, but I we think could it's not worth think it. of a hundred one. 
Yeah. I didn't want any of we these. We had the big to... ones. Yeah. I didn't want any of these to be like, I don't know. I, it's just like, I just wanted to focus on like raising money. Not like, oh, we'll do this crazy thing if you give us money. Like, yeah. I want to be like, It's listen. not really a, yeah. It's a good cause, but it's not. Yeah. It's I not like, a, the charity stream is happening for a bad reason. Right. Yeah. And extra life is this is gonna ha like those are that's kind of stuff that happens, anyways. Yeah. And yeah. we're just raising money for so it's like there's more like jovialness around that. Um, yeah. Versus. How are you doing? Are you doing better? <laughs> I think I might actually be doing better. Oh my goodness. <laughs> goodness. Responsive. To be honest. Wow. Oh, are you? You still have to use the, the analog stick for movement, right? Yeah, that's... But, yeah. It, like, I don't know. It just feels tighter. Not Hi. What do you want? <laughs> yeah? Oh, probably it was dry and you got it wet. Yeah. Is the shortest answer. Yeah, that probably... Yeah, I, I can put some wood glue. It was a uh, a wooden Rat spice me. grinder that Karen put the water on, and I, I assume it got oh, wet and cracked. It, it split. Like, yeah. Uh, I forget what you're supposed to do in that situation. As someone well, comes from oil. a family where people built... Well, she was trying to wash it, I think, is the reason. Like, you just yeah. wipe it out. No, I mean, you can, you can wash it, but if you put, like, linseed oil on it, it'll help protect it a little bit from the water. Yeah. So, so you I can gotta, still wash it. I might throw some wood glue on it. Uh, DJR Gaming says, I use one Joy-Con because I can appreciate getting a new Joy-Con last weekend that actually works because blue and red Joy-Cons suck and don't even work. So I had the Joy-Con drift recently. It popped up uh, after a couple weeks of playing Animal Crossing on my release switch. And I just, I was going to buy a new Joy-Con. I was going to send it in for repairs, but the repair centers are actually closed because COVID right now. Um, I was going to buy a new Joy-Con, but Joy-Con pairs are like, 90 bucks and people didn't even really have them in stock so then i looked it up and the repair for the joy con drift is actually pretty easy i found a kit where it's 25 dollars for the replacement analog stick and the tools you need to do it and i just that's did it it took me about 30 minutes to do and it's it's actually very easy so that's my recommendation the joy con drift does suck but it only cost 25 dollars for the tools in the part or just 15 dollars for the part so it's it's not that bad to to fix it if you do get it. It's it's not even that difficult of a procedure. You just have to be a little bit delicate. You can't manhandle it, but it's it's not difficult. I just bought a new switch. Kind of fix the problem. Oh yeah. Did but I tell you Maggie got really jealous when she heard about that? Oh really? I love this thing. It's so good. I'm still oh, let me tell you this. So I have my old Switch okay. that I was just going to dump, like, I'm trying to sell it. And I've had, like, three people back out of it. And I was, like, browsing. So there's a Reddit, subreddit for my city. And someone on there was like, hey, I know COVID-19 happened like, a month ago. He's like, but is there any place, like, you can get a Joy-Con or a Nintendo Switch? Like, I know they're sold out everywhere. And I, like, literally posted mm -hmm. on it. I was like, 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 20 minutes after it happened, I was like, listen, man, I'm... I'm in the heights as well. Like I have a, I have a switch. Like I would just dump it for cheap. Like I'm not looking, and I like never got a response. I was like, what did this guy post? Just to know where to like, like I couldn't tell if he like thought I was joking or like all stuff. Or maybe he wanted a new one, but yeah, like, he just sounds like a real rotten egg. Rotten egg. I just want to like rotten egg. Sell it. Maybe I'll just list it. I I gotta list my old Xbox One on eBay. I should probably dump. Uh, well, I would do Facebook Marketplace. That's like, that's where most people are nowadays. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I did, um, I got rid of my old couch on Facebook Marketplace. And all I did was it was a crappy couch. I didn't pay. I think, I think I paid 50 bucks for it originally. I didn't feel like taking somebody's money for it because you remember that couch was real like, saggy. It was yeah. not a great couch. And so I was just like, I put on Facebook Marketplace. I was like, hey. We're on the third floor. I have this couch. It looks like this. It's free. All you have to do is carry it down yourself and take it away yourself. And within like 30 minutes, somebody was like, I'll be there in an hour. And I'm like, great. They showed up. They took the couch. They're gone. It was all through Facebook. So I didn't have to like make an account. You can like check the person's profile and be like, yeah, this is a real person. This isn't somebody who's sketchy. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So it's pretty easy. 
Yeah, I have a. Uh, do you need a new? Need Sorry, a new do you level. need a new level? Yeah. I... Wow, great job. Uh, I don't think the MGH. Did I do that one? Was that the one I just did? You want to type it in real quick? For some reason, I don't remember typing this one in. But maybe I did. Before. Folks, we are looking for levels. If you have a level either that you've made or you've seen featured or just some crazy bonkers level you found online that you would like us to play, all you got to do is put that level code in the chat and we'll add no. it to the list and play it up. I'm do this one. Luigi, bro. I may have switched it. No, that's fine. Early. Oh, I still taste that rotten in my mouth. Rotten egg! Rotten egg! It's not rotten egg, it's spoiled milk! <sighs> Alright, Humberto. Here's your level. Oh, I like that sword. I will say I'm very excited for the stream to end so I can just play 51 games with Karen. <laughs> I want to play it too, but I gotta cook dinner. It's so good. I love playing with her. What? No, it's not the funniest thing you've ever said, but it's it's short and funny enough that we can make it into a catchphrase now. Rotten egg! What? I said I just want the stream to end so we can go play 51 games. I like playing it. Um, Takoyaki! Oh, so <laughs> the best. Uh, to explain yeah. to her, but I, I don't know if you caught this in the moment, but when I said, oh yeah, we play Takoyaki, do you know what that is? And you're like, no. And I go, oh, well, do you know what Takoyaki is? Meaning the street food. <laughs> and you just were like, no! <laughs> And in no. my brain, and in my brain, I was talking about two different things. <laughs> Will, I um, don't know what it is. Um, Jimmy, up, Jimmy, Jimmy, next time, next time we play Fiasco, we got to slip a rotten egg in there somewhere. Rotten egg. <laughs> oh, Karen um, loves watching those, by the way. Oh, they're great. She like asked uh, about the storyline real, afterwards. Real DJR, we will put more than one level from you in the list, but the caveat is. If more people add their levels, we'll we'll bump your second level down. We we just don't want to play two of your levels too close to each other if there's other people waiting. But we'll definitely put a second level in the list. Because we're gonna be streaming for another thirty minutes, folks. Rotten egg. Rotten What's egg. another? Um, do you want to play? I forgot. I was gonna. You want to play? Um, Slurper Gurp. I love Slurper Gurp. All right, let me get... I got something at, at hand I can grab. Do I want to play Slurper Gurp? <laughs> All right, so here's the rules. Slurper Gurp is I pick an object, such as these lemon blueberry flavored granola clusters. I read the ingredients one by one, and Will has to say Slurper Gurp. That's pretty much all the explanation, right? Or is it sl Slurp is... I like it. Gurp is not a big fan. No, Slurp okay, is, I knew it was in there. Gurp is, I'm surprised that was in there. Oh, okay. I think it's basically involved into a joke. So don't take it too seriously. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Did you start the timer or no? Oh, did I not? Sorry. I don't think you did. Get go ahead and start it. Now. All right, here we go. Lemon blueberry flavored granola. <clears throat> Oats. Gurp. Tapioca. Syrup. Slurp. Oh, slurp. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Tapioca syrup. That's a gurp. Tapioca, I would have slurped, but. Amateur mistake. How do I make. Oh, Canola. Canola oil. Gurp. Liquid invert sugar. Uh, slurp. Oh, oh, that's two mistakes, Will. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting which is which. I know, I used a bomb. I, I would. Oops, I went back up. I couldn't remember what the button for bomb was. So that's what took me so long. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It was just you've made two slurper gurp mistakes so far, so I just assumed you'd also made the mistake in the game. <clears throat> Cane sugar. Hmm. White rice flour. Burp. Brown rice crisp. Slurp. Mm. Wild dried blueberries. <laughs> Definitely slurp. 
Definitely slurp. Salt. A little bit of salt. Um... Kerp. Mm. Uh, I got a, I got a trick one for you. This is a tricky one. You ready? Trick me, Daddy. Natural flavor. Oh, God, there's no God. <laughs> Gurp. Gotcha. Gurp. Damn, you got that. That's a good one. Uh, may contain. <laughs> Gurp. Wheat. W wheat. Gurp. Soy. Tree nuts, also known as oak testicles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, slurp on that basis alone. Uh, last ingredient, rotten egg. <laughs> oh boy, that's it, folks. It's not a bad game. It's played right. I should play the original. I, I, the original one is is good. It's just you absolutely need a walkthrough or a map or at least like a a thing of saying go here, then there, then there. That's my thing with older games is majority of them were built uh, to be obtuse. Whether yeah, because they wanted people to spend more time with them. Yeah. Um. um. Oh yeah, do it. Oh. Oh. I... Oh my goodness. You can swim too. I thought I was gonna bounce. <sighs> Jimmy, you don't have Mario Maker two. It's really good, yeah, especially really if you good. did not play Super Mario Maker on the Wii U. This is really good. Great job. Um, it's, and if, if if you make a level, Jimmy, we'll play it on stream. 100%. Yeah, it's true. You should just fill it with Ian sucks. I um. Wow. I was thinking. I so I've never played Wind Waker, so I was considering maybe buying the HD remake that came out on the Wii U. Uh, it's a good remake. It's probably then, better than waiting around for some Switch release. Yeah, I'm at that spot with uh. Ooh. I'm at that spot with Super Mario Galaxy. Like, I, I got a craving today to be like, oh, I should play Galaxy, like, finish Galaxy and play Galaxy 2. But those rumors of them making that new Mario All-Stars, -Star, All I'm like, oh, I'll yeah. just, just wait. Oh, now you goofed it. Bye, DJR. Bye. Thank you oh. for watching and or donating if you donated. Um. No. Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy's leaving? Oh, he's off yeah, to, he's the going store. to the store. Have fun. Buy me All right, something. Alright, folks. DJR's leaving, but we gotta play his level. I so like this, this is level. his maker code. We don't have any more levels in the in the queue right now, so if you guys got any more levels, throw them at us, but I think for a while... Let's just play this guy's levels for a while. Uh, Ian, can I say something very brave and controversial? Yeah. I think I might like playing with the one Joy-Con. That's interesting. Is it? Oh, fart. Oh. It makes me think that I would really enjoy playing with a Super Nintendo controller. Oh, DJ is not leaving. He's just, he said goodbye to Jimmy. That's so nice of you, DJ. Oh, man, I wanted him to leave. Just warms like me the, heart. the energy he brings here, I hate it. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Kidding. Just kidding. I typed it in wrong, probably. Um, folks. Oh yeah. Just a quick plug. This next upcoming Saturday, next next Saturday, the thirteenth, nine p.m. Eastern, we're gonna be playing Fiasco, which is a great tabletop RPG, with Jimmy again. It's gonna be the third episode. It's just, it's so much fun. It's great. We just make a little story for an hour, and have a lot of fun playing characters. Ian, I don't. Mm -hmm. Um. 
Oh, we're picking a... Yeah. Let's pick a real level before I speak. No jump edition. That seems like fun. Yeah, 1-1 one, one, no jump. 1-1 one, one, no jump. Um, <laughs> we should... I'm not saying Dungeons and Dragons, but we should start a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Uh, uh, I'm up for that. If we could... Re okay, here's the problem, though. Maggie. Maggie's the problem. It, it, let me explain What's that. What's wrong with Maggie? <laughs> she's not home, right? No, she's not around here. I would totally be down with... Especially in quarantine time, it's perfect for us to say, hey, every Wednesday night, 8 p.m., we're playing D&D. I'd be like, I'm down. The problem is... Maggie doesn't like me streaming already. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, William. What if we just stop one of our... What if we stop one of our regular streams? And play Like, D &D. what if we just stopped... Yeah, and we broadcast it. So we turned our Saturday stream into D&D &D Saturday. That's kind of what I was thinking. Oh, uh, you got to start the timer. Oh, thank you. Okay, but who's going to play? We could get Jimmy to play, but I feel like Jimmy... Well, we could get Jimmy to play. I feel like I would play. What about Zach? I don't think yeah, Zach could come you and I is the problem. I know yeah. Karen would I think we play. need... We need three players, right? Three players minimum and a DM. And then the rest of the time, we could just have guests come in and out. So I think we need a hard commit from four people. Yeah, Jimmy, you want to play D&D? &D? We would be I streaming it. Left. Yeah, I thought Jimmy went to the store. Yeah, I was really hoping he was leaving. Jimmy, can you leave, please? Yeah, we wanted yeah, to talk see, about it. See, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, Jimmy. He's already in two D&D &D campaigns. You're in two D&D &D campaigns, and I'm not in one of them? Yeah. Yeah. Neither is Ian? Jimmy. Um. <laughs> so. Door. We, could, we could always have guests. Like, if Jimmy wanted to hop in, that's fine. But what I'm saying is, I think we need a dedicated four people. So we always have three, pe three players and a DM. And the DM can rotate. You know, like, I have DM ideas, so I would run, I would DM for four or five sessions. Ah! <laughs> I don't know Jimmy, why I did that. don't lie in chat. We know when you're lying. Yeah, it's when you use all caps. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, the problem is he didn't write in all caps, folks. It just detects a lie and then displays it in all caps. Yeah. So any caps is a lie. I'm a, I'm I'm down with this. I think we, I think. But my, my point was, I don't know if it's Dungeons and Dragons. I just know we should play a role playing game. Or like some. Here's what I like about. Yeah. Here's what I like about Dungeons and Dragons. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fairly simple. Yeah. Oh, see, it's, it's all caps. So Jimmy, we explained the lie detector. It's still <laughs> going to capitalize any lies. Yeah. Um, Jimmy, right? You're oh, straight. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy, come on. It's an all-powerful machine learning AI. You're not going to trick it, okay? You're right about how <laughs> ugly I am. Um, I have played... See? I think I played that. That's all lowercase. It is a curse of Cthulhu. Thank <laughs> you for finally speaking the truth. And I heard a talk with that proboscis. So here's what I like about D&D. It's crunchy. And what I mean by crunchy is that it makes combat, there's so much variety in combat that I don't think a lot of other systems have. Yeah. No, so I'm I think it. it's, it's difficult to do it right, but I think we can totally do it right where, and when you, when, when you and I and Maggie and Karen played, we did it right where we ignored the hardcore mechanics we didn't let her we didn't let ourselves get stuck on mechanics. We played like rule of cool and we just played the game. Oh, oh, oh how did you not 
Oh. Oh, there you go. See, now you're learning the trick. What's that for? I don't know. I don't care. Winning. I really like that they added um, these win conditions. Stuff's very fun. Yeah. This I. Like a nightmare. That's just the reason why I'm leaning towards D and D because it it makes a lot of character variety and a lot of combat variety, and it does so in a way that people don't necessarily have to be creative like in Fiasco. The the mechanics like inc basically force that. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy agrees. Jimmy Jimmy's the D and D expert. He says, "Rule of Cool is definitely the best way to play D and D because how, otherwise yeah, it gets too bogged down." Played. Yeah. Is rule our story over rules? Uh, yeah, unless it's like and also a specific... like, oh no, and also like forget most of the survival mechanics. Like, I don't care if you haven't eaten in forty-eight hours. I don't need to yeah. know every time you eat. Yeah, you know? but if you're the type of player who's into that, I don't mind. Like, if you want to keep track of your daily rations and let me know, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Oh, hey, man, I'm surprised you did that. That's what I call a good level, folks. Submit more like that, please. Oof, that was the most stressful thing in my life. Oh. All right, but one second. I'm, I'm going to put the new code in. Oh, man, the real DJR said I'm good at at his level. That makes me feel good. Am I getting good at Mario that Maker? Does. Is it Maybe? the Joy-Con? Maybe? Who knew all along? Rotten Egg! Rotten Egg! <laughs> Gonna get a lashing tonight. And that's a good thing. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, we've got <laughs> 17 minutes uh, left. To oh, no problem, real DJR. I, I honestly really like that level. It was very good. And I don't like a lot of levels. Uh, okay. What are some other systems we can do? There's the one that's called Monster of the Week. And it's set up to be kind of like a like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer where you like have a monster come into the world and then you hunt them for a period of time. And then I'm not crazy about that one. There's Dungeon yeah. World, but I feel like Dungeon World is is... From what I've seen of uh, Dungeon World and Apocalypse World, it's a lot of like, how do I put this? The Dumb. the combat is more free flow where you're just like, okay, and what are you doing during combat? Hey, Jim, I haven't heard from you in a while. What are you doing during combat? But, and I think that's a good counter to the D&D, &D, but it's only a problem in D&D &D if you let it get bogged down by that. Yeah. You know? I, I was just thinking I could. Yeah. Pretty and good. I think if we do pre-mates, that would make it easier. Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff. And uh, we actually, use, what, I, roll, I don't even know if 20? I'd be... I mean, I could be DM if you want. Uh, I think... To, whatever. Oh. Yeah, I think since you have the Curse of Strahd stuff, we should start... We should start with some pre-mates. Yeah, Either you I, or I, I do. I, oh, know. I forgot. I have that water... Water key... Water gate? Or deep? The, the heist. The water deep heist. We could do that one. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I would prefer if you started out DM. him. Yeah. Man, I have the original... A, I have the original Curse of Strahd, the Ravenloft, like the second mm -hmm. edition one. And then I also have the uh, Ravensloft boxed edition from Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so, Actually, DJR, I, I did Ravenloft. keep your code. So if nobody else puts any levels in the in the chat between now and the end of this one, we'll go back and pick another level of yours. We'll use your your... Maker code is kind of a filler when we don't have levels to play. You're this now looks like a cool approved. level. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I like the ones that do that, like, pow block moving. <gasps> Ooh, is your butt? <sighs> Jimmy's going to be DMing a Curse of Strahd campaign. That's oh, nice. exciting. I, I've done the first chapter. There's a first chapter that's a ghost house. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I've done that before, which I actually have the map printed out. It's like like full that's like movie poster size you know like 24 by 36 oh, on like really nice. nice paper but it's at the guy's house that i dm'd at 
who I went to high school with, but I'm not like great friends with. But I, I really want to. Same, all my miniatures are there too, and I keep asking my other friend to go there and get them. He'll be like, "Yeah, I'll totally go get them." I'm like, dude, please. I want my my miniatures back. Oh. Tragic. Um, I I want to do some more of the um. I forgot what it's called, but that one that they released, the book they released a couple years ago, where it's a bunch of classic dungeons translated to 5th uh, edition. Uh, Tales from the Dark... Tales from the... Tales from the Portal Void? Just, yeah, something like that. Yeah. I think I have that. I think that would be fun. Just kind of dropping those into... Because I, I really like the story aspect, but I feel like I, spent, I get way too into the encounter design. So I would love to drop some pre-made encounters in but then also have my own story going. I think that would be great. The the group I was DMing last year, um, I, the story I was creating for it, I thought was really cool. Mm -hmm. I, like I, I took it from a bunch of different places, but like the main story, like it ended up being, I'm very much a person who just evolves it as it's going. That ended up being like this magical door that they could, uh, like I made, they were all prisoners and so their sentence was to go chart this magical force that has yet to be added to the quote-unquote commonwealth. And so it turns mm -hmm. out that the the forest is actually, they're like trying, it's uncharted for a reason, like it won't be charted. There's people who live there. Oh, yeah. And it just so, it turned them into like uh, trying to chart out this area, and then I had them find an object that is like a magic doorway. So they can use it mm -hmm. to travel within the forest. And, uh... Yeah. The, like, first thing... Oh, we've done this level before. Remember this? Mm, no, this is different. It's different, but it's, like, almost the same thing. Yeah, because I think the one you played previously I got from somewhere else. Yeah. Anyways, um... So, one of the ones I did was, like, about, a. uh... uh shapeshifter who lived in the in the town mm -hmm. it was really fun I, I like that group but they like I, I don't know if it was partly me but like they didn't we like couldn't find a time to play for like two months and then they like stopped answering the discord messages oh like, yeah oh, that's okay. nice. although I did make a discord server for my town for D&D &D. there's like maybe like 100 150 people on it I'm like the only admin, and I don't do anything with it. I just have a, a oh, Discord is server. Is with it still a bunch active? Of... Yeah, people type in it occasionally. Wow. Uh, I haven't posted That's like it's not. The posts are old enough now that no one would like regularly see them. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Was Boom. Okay, Boom. let's pick another level from DJR. Got 10 minutes left. 10 folks, minutes I think left, these folks. are going to be the the final two levels. levels yeah i want to next time we do this i want to word that better because i was afraid some people might think it costs ten dollars to host a level yeah i think maybe like ten dollars jump the line yeah yeah that's a better that's a better way to it. i wish we uh were friends with a, a very proficient uh, programmer, so we could be like, "Hey, can you design the system that when it recognizes when a person donates and bumps them to the head of the line?" Yeah, I wish we were friends. I mean, you're not like, I meant like someone who does it professionally, not you. Uh, 
Um, what should I play so, real DJR? I don't want to choose something and then you're like, hey, idiot. That's the worst level I've ever made. Nintendo Direct 2020, did you just make it? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. If you don't want me to play this, we'll go back and play the one you want me to, but I just want to see this. Auto scroll. Auto scroll. I love that everyone's here now, but where are you when we stream stuff that you're not interested in? <laughs> <laughs> I think he answered your own question there. Oh, no, boy. it's it's honestly a watch a lot of stuff. Mario Kart 9? <gasps> wow! Oh Can Is you imagine Mario Uncle Kart 9? Uh, I would love it. January 2021. Yes. Odyssey. Odyssey. Oh. Plus. Sun. Oh, Sunshine sucks. I've actually never played. Did you um did you see there's the Two. that Destiny thing might happen tomorrow? Apparently, I thought apparently. it was the ninth. One, no, the so apparently they've been teasing that the you know the almighty the big thing that was sucking the sun to shoot at the other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, apparently it's been getting closer and closer to the tower because in the in the most recent season uh, the some of the cabal who were still alive took it and are trying to crash it into the last city. Um, yes, I know you're asleep. Listen, I don't play Destiny anymore either. But it's been getting closer and closer in game, so it's supposed to crash tomorrow in game. Um, That's pretty cool. That's taking a page out of Fortnite, yeah. book, which so, I'm okay with. Yeah, I, I set an alarm to actually log in and see if it be there when it happens. But uh, depending, honestly, that Bungie is <laughs> always with Destiny. They like always manage to do something that's like brings me back to it. So Forsaken brought me back. And then mm -hmm. Shadowkeep, I I bought Shadowkeep for forty dollars. I played like three hours of it, and I hated it. Not hated it. I just wasn't engaged, and I haven't played uh -huh. it since. But I know, it, it, the, June 9th can go two ways. It could be like, wow, this is incredible. I need to get back into Destiny, or wow, I'm actually just done with this. Well, I feel like I need to have an intervention with you and Jake because. Like when Destiny 1 came out, it was like, okay, they had a bad launch. And then it was like, okay, well, maybe we'll give them this update. And then they come up with an update and the update's like good, but it's it's like a step in the right direction. It's not completely fixing the game. And then they make a bunch of missteps. And then every now and then, like just in the nick of time, they make one step in the right direction. And everybody's like, see, they're not bad. But overall, they have taken 20 steps back. I think so there needs to be an intervention to say like, Destiny and Destiny 2 is, it's not, I don't want to say it's a bad game, but it's like they have not done a good job of supporting and updating and fixing and continuing that game. And I no, think it's time to realize that. I, I'm not saying I've realized that since day one, but I'm saying. Yes, but, 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 but. William Yosef Crosby, I'm pretty sure you yourself have followed that line and spouted that line of, Oh, well, now that they're broken away from Activision, I think things are going to be better because, you know, the bad stuff before was probably Activision being publishing right. pressure on them. And it's like, it's like, no, no, it wasn't. It's it's just Bungie. There may have been some publisher pressure, but Bungie is is still making bad decisions. So at the end of the day, it's like you can come up with as many extenuating circumstances as you want. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, Destiny's not that good of a game and it's a majority but of it is Bungie's fault. I want to say I would have said that before Shadowkeep came out and then I would have agreed that... Like, I'm only speculating when I say it's maybe it's Activision. But also the fact that the amount of people who are in charge of Destiny has changed hands, like, every other... Yeah, uh, and that's Bungie's thing. fault, though. No, I'm not that's... saying it's not Bungie's fault. I'm just saying that's yeah. what makes everything different every time is because, like, it could have been someone who got their way and made the right decision versus someone who didn't get oh, their yeah. way. I see that. I see that. Whereas, whereas I, I think that's a valid point, but to me it always sounds like making excuses as to why the game is good but or the game will be better believe me and it's like fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me fool me 12 times shame on Bungie. you know no, I, I i totally agree but I, i'm not i'm not one to shy away from a game when they're like hey we're doing an update and i want to see what's what's happening with it 
Yeah, whereas I think with me, I am... I mean, I kind of understand wanting to see what's happening with it, but I will not be giving them any more money. Absolutely not. Because they have not... If you count the number of updates that they've done, especially like paid updates and stuff, the number of them that have actually delivered is what, like two? It's like Taken King and then... Was it Forsaken that was good? Yeah, Forsaken was great. No, yeah, yeah and I, I'm agreeing with you. I'm not giving them any money. I'm just saying I'm yeah, excited yeah. for June 9th to see which coin toss it is for Bungie this year. Yeah, and I think I think for me it's what I'm trying to say is even that Freyos is giving them too much credit. I think it's much more likely than not that things will not drastically change in a positive direction. Hi, Michael Daly. So, um, but I think. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll, we'll do another two minutes on this level, and then we'll finish it out with Michael Daly's level. Thanks for joining. No. We're going to make your level the last level we play. And, folks, we are going to have donations that are going to keep on going. Yeah, how long do uh, people have to donate? I'm actually going to uh, ch change that slightly right now because I think. What was that? What was what? Oh, oh, I went to the I went to the charity page and it. Uh... OK, it ends today, so you have all of today to donate. I went to the charity page and our stream is live on there, so I heard an echo. Oh, that that's it. terrifying. You don't ever want to see the stream ever. Um, but folks, just to say it one final time, we are raising money for I Need Diverse Games. It's a great little charity that uh, raises money to support uh, minority and people of color game developers, basically provide them the resources, the publicity, the uh, convention tickets, anything they need to be more successful and to help them break into this very difficult industry and to make their diverse voices heard. Um, oh, Roberto says this is not his level. Let me check, Humberto. Which one's not his level? The one I I'm playing or the one he posted? Are you KFD? Are you playing that one right now? No, the one I'm playing right now is is uh, RD is J DJR. Well, then we have two more levels to play. Yeah, no, because the remember I said I, we were checking out the. Uh, the I know, but but then you played two levels in a row from him. Right. I said, hey, we're just gonna check this one out, and then I'll play the one you actually want me to play. Oh my goodness. Those were the words oh because goodness. it was just an auto score. Not playing that level. All right, I'm gonna put that back. There we go. But folks, yeah, we've got that donation up. It's gonna be up to the end of the day. We've raised one hundred dollars. All thanks to you guys. And now I'm changing. Okay, now we're gonna play. Sorry about that, Umberto. That was a uh... miscommunication. Um. We, it is E3 season, so we do have some stuff coming up. Let me pull up the list of s stuff coming up. Here we go. So there is a uh, a journalist at VentureBeat called Jeff Grubb, and he has some insider info, but he's not specifically stating it, so he's just kind of been updating this calendar. So let me go through it. June 8th, IGN uh, wait, Game Reveals. Start, uh, yes. uh, Umberto. Is there a specific one you wanted me to play? Because it just linked your uh, profile. So, Ian, you can start. Just say in chat which one you want me to play. So, June 8th, which is uh, Sunday. Right. No, June 8th is Monday. Uh, there's a bunch of IGM game reveals. June 9th, he just has a hint. Mel Gibson picture slash Tom Cruise shirtless volleyball. Sounds like we may be getting a Top Gun game. <gasps> Any level. June 9th through 14th is the Steam Game Festival Summer Edition. So get excited for some sales. June 9th is the Humble Bundle Indies Showcase. Nice. June 9th, uh, which is Tuesday, is also the Destiny 2 expansion reveal. Bye, Real DJR. Thank you for subscribing. You're the best. Your levels Thanks. were fun. June 11th is EA Play Live. So expect some EA news. Probably, probably some next-gen stuff there, I'm assuming, for... Madden. Maybe... Maybe a new Battlefield. It's been a while since Battlefield... Uh... What's the latest one? Battlefield World War II? Yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, Battlefield. What do they call it? What am I called? Battlefield V. Five. God, that that series has some terrible. Yeah. All right, Michael Daly. Nice. Party time for your level. I'm sorry, I picked a short one, Humberto. I didn't think I was gonna beat it that bad. But if you come back next um, time we do this, we'll play more of your levels. Mm -hmm. We'll do it. June. 11th, we also have the Escapist Indie Showcase, so a bunch more indie games. June 13th, uh, Gorilla Collective Day 1. I believe that's a, the PC gaming show as well as an, another, some more indie games. Um, a VR Showcase on the 15th. Sometime in June is a 2K Games Reveals. So 2K Games, they've got a bunch of stuff under their banner. They've got the Mafia series. They've already revealed some of that. They've got uh grand theft auto but they probably won't reveal that through that so we'll we'll see what that is probably some 2k sports games um june 15th we have an ign game reveal Ooh, another one on the 18th uh june 24th is the avengers war table stream which i'm assuming war table is just a fancy name for the stream and they're talking about the square enix um uh the Square Enix Avengers game. June 25th is the new Cyberpunk 2077 presser. Um, Wait, July 12th you, is the Ubisoft. June 20th is Cyberpunk 2077. Make sure I heard it right. That was going to be either this week or next week, but it got, it got pushed. Yeah. Um, July 12th, Ubisoft E3. July 20th is some sort of dev <gasps> showcase. It's not specified. Um, June or July is going to be a Riot event and a Blizzard event. And then sometime in July is also the Xbox Game Studios reveal. So not a lot of details, but there's definitely stuff coming. Yeah. So it's exciting. I, I think this is kind of a common, this is a common thing to say. And a lot of people are saying this, but, um, E3 was definitely better than, than the mess we're in right now in terms of all these different conferences and yeah, things but like at that. least kept it together. All right, folks, this is the last level. Um, if you would like to donate, I'll put the donate link in the chat. We're raising money for I Need Diverse Games. We've raised $100 so far. If we happen to get to $200 by the end of the stream, Will's going to shave his beard. If we get to $300 by the end of the stream, I'm going to shave my head. Um, got a ways to go. Maggie finds that funny. We've already raised 100 Maggie, so <laughs> we're getting there. No, you're, you're definitely funny. Wow. Um, I won't donate $200. <laughs> um, we also, uh, if you enjoy our content, you can find Will on Twitter at Hunt27. You can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson, And you can find all the Subpixel content at subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our YouTube channel where we have both stream archives and our edited videos. Uh, we also have a uh, bunch of stuff on there. We also have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and Mixer. At Subpixel Team is the handle that you can find us on on those websites. Um, if you've enjoyed this stream, and I know you have, and you want to see more of us, we're going to be streaming tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be playing some Warzone. We're also going to be streaming at M Easterns. It's our regular stream schedule on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. We also do some one-off streams on Twitch and Mixer. You can find that out by following us on Twitter. Plenty of stuff we've got going up on uh, YouTube, including a brand new edited video uh, on a game analysis video, topic not revealed yet, on Monday. But we also have our Halo CE Let's Play that's started today. Episode one went up today, part one. It's going to run for the next eight or nine days. A lot of stuff. We've been around for a year and a half. We've got almost 200 videos for you guys to watch on our YouTube channel. Just a lot of great stuff. So highly recommend it. This is the worst. Oh, no. Get him. Thank you for the sub, Humberto. Hey, good job, buddy. Woo! Yeah! Hey! I'm a Perfect winner. timing. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for the $100 worth of donations, guys. Really. Awesome. Thank you so much. This will be open for another couple of hours, so that donate link will still work uh, if you happen to be watching this later. Uh, we will probably do another charity stream at some point in the future. I feel like this was a big success. How you feeling, William? I'm feeling like a million bucks. 
very uh, that's great very happy well me too i think we did a fantastic job but most importantly we want to say thank you guys so much for watching even if you couldn't donate you just being here to watch the stream it helped us out it gave us support it gave other people support as we played their levels and it bumped the stream up in the uh in the algorithm to show it to more people so thank you guys so much for watching yes thank you and we will see you all tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Warzone. I know Ian already said it, but you should come check it out. Until next.